and do my goals. Okay, hold on. I gotta do that. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome to the stream. I'm sorry I'm running late today. I'm trying my best here, y'all. <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome. Welcome. Um, Today, we're gonna be playing some more Strange Town. I just have to go in and set my goals here and ping the Discord, and we'll be ready to go. I got my game loading up. Today was a hectic morning, as you probably know. The U.S. presidential election has ended, and Joe Biden has won. Yay! I'm so excited. We're going to keep politics out of the stream, but I just wanted to throw that out there because everybody knows. <laughs> okay, so let me, uh, let me do this. Let me see. Let me see. And then we're going to get started. My game is slowly loading here. Um, today, Johnny and Ishmael are going to be moving into their new house, which I'm really excited for. We worked on decorating it a little bit on Wednesday. Um, we just, I didn't get to, a chance to finish it, but it's got most of the fixture, fixtures already in it. Okay, that should have done the trick. That should have done it. Waiting on my... Uh, Wait on my music to come back in. I know poor Ophelia, y'all. So if you didn't see the spooky stream, what the heck is wrong with you? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> if you didn't see the spooky stream, Ophelia has sadly passed away in childbirth. And so Johnny and Ishmael are stuck on this haunted cursed lot. And we're going to move them out into their own home. Johnny's going to take all that money. It's just too painful for him to stay there in that house. Um, where the love of his life passed away. So he's going to take his son. They're going to move out. They're moving into the house right next to the Grunt family. Hey, everybody. <laughs> I did forget the Discord. Dang it. Let me ping the Discord right now. All right. Pinged. Pinged. Oh, and also let me turn back on commercials and memes because we are back today with commercials and memes. So let me go turn those back on as well. Um, radio stations back, memes back, and commercial breaks back. So Wednesday we had a really chill stream and we didn't do any commercials and memes because I was just like really exhausted. But today we're back with all the fun and silliness. <laughs> so let me go back to my stream here. Okay. Okay. My game's still loading. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much for the follow, uh, Bear, per Bear Perch. Thank you. Hey, Sims 3 Gamer Girl. Okay, I already got, let me see, I already got some stuff going on. I gotta hydrate. Okay, I'm gonna be hydrating with coffee today because I don't have any water. <laughs> so we're gonna have, we're gonna have coffee. There's a hydrate for you. It's not very hydrating, but I'm trying my best. <laughs> Hey, Fumus. Coffee hydrate. That's right. That's right. So I'm just, my game is like frozen up. I'm sorry. I don't want to just show you guys a black screen. So you get to look at my face for a moment. We're going to chat for a moment. It's like the opposite of hydrate. I know. Dehydrate. I'm going to do a dehydrate points. If you would like to dehydrate me, I'll take a drink of coffee. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're watching me on your big TV. Oh, that makes me nervous. I don't want to be on a big TV. Put me on a little tiny screen. <laughs> yeah, we have tap water, but I can't drink it. It tastes like tastes chem like chemicals. So we ha we actually have a filter um, in our fridge, but we need to change the filter. And right now, all of our water tastes really gross. So I have to order a filter. So right now, I don't have any water. Unless I drink tap water. It's first world problems, right? <laughs> I'm on your TV too. Oh, I'm famous. I'm on TV. Hello, mom. Guys, I don't know why my game is frozen. It's like literally just frozen white screen right now. <laughs> it depends on where you live in the United States if tap water is good or not. Where we live, I I I've never lived in a place where I can't, where it doesn't taste like chemically to me. So yeah, I like to drink spring water because I grew up, I was born and grew up in a place where we had natural hot springs. So every weekend we would go fill up all of our containers with fresh spring water that came right out of the ground. So that is what I prefer to drink. It tastes so much better than chemical water out of the tap. <laughs> you love that chill stream? I'm glad you did. I'm glad I needed it. I needed it. Today we're playing Strange Town. 
so what I was think what I was telling you guys about possibly doing a a um, supernatural Saturday, I still want to do that. But the thing is, if I split up the games, it's going to be too hard to follow the playlists on YouTube. So what I'll probably do is alternate the days. Like today we'll play Strange Town. Maybe next Saturday we'll play Sims Three Supernatural. That way it's easier for people who who watch the playbacks to follow them on YouTube. If that makes sense. Here comes the game, finally. Good lord. Okay, so let me pull you guys over um, to the game. Just look at this black screen for a moment while I choose my game. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I like both. I like both. You know, sometimes I just need a break from The Sims 2. When you play the same game day in and day out, sometimes you just need a break. So sometimes I like to try and play other games. Okay, I said the ga I said the game was loaded, but apparently I lied. <laughs> Salted caramel vodka. What is that? Hey, Kujaku. Ku <laughs> your break from sims 2 is roblox my break from sims 2 is sims 3 and sims 4 <laughs> i just play the other sims games because every time like i like um other simulation games i'm so sorry for the black screen guys uh let me see why it's not doing this i like other simulation games like Roller Coaster Tycoon and Sim City, but every time I play those, it just makes me want to play The Sims again. <laughs> Cause I'm like, what? I can't make these char I can't make these these characters have babies and get married. Screw that! I'm going back to The Sims. <laughs> I do love Sim City though. Yeah, I love Sim City. Um, Sim City two, Sim City four is my favorite Sim City. Okay, let's go to Strange Town, y'all. Your break from Sims 2 is Red Dead Redemption. I've never played that before. I've I've watched Mr. Pleasant play it before, though. I hope my lighting is okay. I can't really tell. Hey, Adel Adelaus? Adelaus? You like switching all the, sw all the Sims games? That's what I do. I just, like, I like all the Sims games for different reasons. Of course, The Sims 2 is my favorite because it's the best. I'm sorry. It just is. Sorry, not sorry. It's just the best. But sometimes I like to play the other ones, too. You've been taking a break, Christina. Sometimes you got to take a break. You do. And you know what? I can never take a break, guys. <laughs> never. I made this my job, but I can never take a break. So I just have to keep finding new ways to entertain myself. So that's why um, I switch between the games. Because if I couldn't switch between all three games, I don't know what I would do. Like, you would just get so burnt out, you know? Okay, so we're gonna first. So here's the house. If you guys missed our chill stream, here's how the house looks so far. We've been redecorating it. Those columns are supposed to be recolored, so I don't know why they're still showing up like that. Um, but what we're gonna do is go way over here. We're gonna load this household up. It's the Spectre House, but it's not really the Spectre House. This lot is gonna become our Strange Town Cemetery and Museum. So we'll, we might work on that on another stream, but right now we're just gonna move Johnny and Ishmael out. I'm not gonna make any of the residents in this town into witches, no. We're gonna play witches in when we get to Sims 3. Sims 3 did, did witches really well. Oh, you haven't been burnt out, you've just been busy. Yeah, that happens too. That used to happen to me whenever uh, whenever, before I was doing YouTube. Yeah, I like the idea too, and we're kind of going to turn it into like a, like a funeral area, like a place where Sims can go and have funerals, and then we'll, we'll make it like an olive museum. Kitty, I see you, Laszlo. My cat's trying to get in here. He wants to join us. <laughs> um, oh, that's a good question. The gray, what's good? Oh. I don't think so. I think the graves stay there. I think the graves stay. 
Hopefully this is not as tragic, yeah. I think the graves stay if they move, right? Somebody tell me if I'm wrong. Um, for the desert replacement terrain, you could just search for Curious B Sim File Share. Search for Curious B Sim File Share and find the Curious B folder on Sim File Share. If you Google that, it's like on the first page. Thank you for the follow, Ultimate Geek. I don't have my uh, alerts on. I'm so sorry, but thank you so much for the follow. Oh, I'm glad you're creating your own neighborhood. I suggest everybody create their own neighborhood because then you can make it exactly how you want to. You know? And just, you know, download some other neighborhoods and look at them. Get some inspiration. Same thing in The Sims 4. You know, make your own save file if you play The Sims 4. That way you can make it just how you want it. Or take somebody else's save file and change it how you want it. I got a lot of comments on my Sims 4 video where people were saying, oh, I wish you would have done this, I wish you would have done that. And I'm like, well, this is my save file. Why don't you take it and make your own how you want it? That's the beauty of it. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, Claudia. You think the graves stay there? Okay, we're going to find out. And if they don't, um, then I have a backup. <laughs> then we'll just restore the backup and try again. But I think they do. You think the gravestones disappear if you move your sims from the neighborhood? What if I move them out here? Thank you so much for the Prime Gaming sub to a tier one sub, uh, Snowy Oreo. Thank you so much. Oh, guys, before we do this, I have an announcement to make. So, moderators, I know I said I wasn't going to announce this until later, but I'm going to go ahead and announce it here in the stream so that our Twitch subs who are here can hear it. Um, thank you so much for the Prime sub, Bor Bor Borkus? Bor Borsha Simmer? I'm sorry. Bor I don't know how to say that. I'm sorry. Thank you. <laughs> um, so um, I'm making a change to my memberships, mostly to my YouTube memberships. The Twitch memberships are going to stay the same. And I'm making a change to my streaming schedule. So now everybody who is a Twitch subscriber can come to the members only live streams, which are going to be every single week. <clears throat> Sorry, every single week. I didn't mean for my voice to crack like that. So every level of Twitch not Borsha. <laughs> every level of Twitch subscriber, even a Prime sub, Tier 1 subs, every sub, every sub can come to the members only live streams. So all of you guys can come. Make sure that you are in the Discord because that's where I give out the link because I have no other place that is a members only place that I can give you the link to the to the members only stream. So if you want to come to that, you got to join the Discord and attach your Discord to the Twitch. Att attach your Twitch to the Discord. so You can get in the members-only channels and get the link to the live stream. They're going to be every Sunday at 10 a.m. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So now you know. Now you know the change. I'm going to make a couple more changes to my YouTube, but I'm not, uh, I'm not worried about that right now because you guys are Twitch. <laughs> I'm so excited about that. I just got tired of having the tears and every oh, and by the way, there's not gonna be any more bonus videos. So that's the other thing. So the bonus videos are going away and instead it's just everybody come to the members only stream. That's the change I'm making because the bonus videos are so time consuming and I would rather stream and it's just so confusing to have all of the different tiers and try to explain to people. It's just easier to say every sub can come to the members only live streams. <laughs> And thank you so much for the two-month Prime sub, Code Joy. They will be on YouTube because YouTube is the only place I can have an unlisted stream that's not public that I can invite people to. So the members-only streams will always be on, on YouTube. Fair Play, the... I'm not going to be doing bonus videos on Fair Play anymore, but we might stream some Fair Play because I'm going to be doing four... I'm going to be doing a members-only live stream every week then we can switch it up. We don't have to do Edgewood every time. So we might do, we might switch between Fair Play and Edgewood. Okay, so that's the announcement. Mo that's most of the announcement. The other part of the announcement is the members only streams are at same time as this stream on Sundays. Okay, whatever time you're here right now, 
It's the same time on Sundays. Next announcement is my week, my Monday and Wednesday streams. The time is changing. So I'm going to be streaming on Monday and Wednesday at 2 p.m. Mountain Time, which is three hours earlier. So um, Saturday and Sunday streams are staying the same. Monday and Wednesday streams are going to be 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., which is three hours earlier than normal. Okay, <laughs> so now I got that all out of the way. And I'm sorry if the time change is inconvenient for you. I have to do this for my own sanity because streaming so late was just really getting to me. I wasn't having any time off. I wasn't having, it was just, it was too much for me. So I got to stream earlier. I'm sorry. Um, that's why members will have an opportunity to come to four different streams and non-members will have an opportunity to come to three different streams. And I'm, I'm sorry if it's inconvenient for you. Okay. So. Now that that's out of the way, um, we are going to start playing here. So I am nervous about now that you guys brought up the gravestone thing. Uh, oh, yeah. And don't forget, there's always the playbacks of the live streams. If you can't make it to them now, you can always uh, subscribe to my second channel, Pleasant Streams, where I po post all the Twitch playbacks. Okay. I'm done. I'm done now. <laughs> I don't want to uh, move the gravestones. I know how to move them. I don't want to move them. That's the thing. I want to keep them here. I want to keep them here, and I want Johnny and Ishmael to move out. So let's see. What do we need? Let's put in his inventory. Let's put his microphone. And I think that's all we need. He's going to sell everything else. But let's take the laptop. Let's take the laptop. Oh, it's, it's still turned on. Never mind. We'll just sell it. So he's going to get 30,000 simoleons plus whatever he gets for the lot. Um, and it is Monday at 4.07 p.m. So this is the perfect time to move. Thank you so much for the five months at tier three. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Alina. Thank you. And thank you for the prime sub, Fruz Pie. Fruz Pie, thank you. Thank you for the two month prime sub, Code Joy. And thank you for the follow, Henri. And I got to ask me anything from Snowy Oreo. If I could only eat one type of food for the rest of my life, what would it be? That is a difficult question. That is a, you guys are always asking me the hardest questions. I don't know. I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> I don't know how to answer it. Um, if I could only eat one food, it would probably be pizza. But, you know, that's not healthy. <laughs> I, I don't want to say pizza, but I'm saying pizza. Bread. Thank you so much for the uh, the sub, Bella Bean. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're going to move Ophelia Smith out to the cemetery, y'all. I know, it's so sad. I need to rearrange these graves because I don't like how they're all over the place. Like, I want to I wanna straighten them up a little bit. Actually, I'm going to put Ophelia up here at the top. She gets to go up here at the top by Olive. No, that's Ichabod Spectre. Where the heck is Olive? <laughs> I don't know where I put, I lost Olive. Benjamin Cho, somebody, Melissa Sims, Lila Grunt, where did I put her? Is she still inside? Did I not, I don't, maybe I didn't move her out here. Oh, there she is. There she is, we're gonna move Olive up here. We're gonna get rid of that. And we're gonna put, wait, where was, oh, not Lila. Willow. We're going to put Willow up here. I wanted to put the main family members up there. Anyway, we'll, I'll deal with that later. <laughs> yes, independent of health, I would eat pizza every day. It's got calcium. It's got protein. It's got carbs. It's got fiber if you put veggies on it because I love veggie pizza. Um, so, yeah, that's what I would eat. <laughs> I don't like thick dough either. I like a I like a hand toss. I don't like thin. I don't like thick. Okay, Johnny. So now we're gonna go find the newspaper. We're gonna cross our fingers that everything works out. Or we'll just use the computer. And we're gonna do find oops, there it was. Find own place. So I think that I'm pretty sure the graves are gonna stay here. You love seafood? I am not a fan of seafood. I like sushi, and that's pretty much it. I can eat a fried shrimp. <laughs> I do 
you not like cauliflower pizza crust? But maybe I just haven't had a good one. Lobster Thermidor for you. <laughs> okay, here they go. You were trying to move out the whole family. Please use the move. Oh, you got to do the... Oh, you got to... Ah, uh, crap. <sighs> okay, so here... I'm afraid to do this. <laughs> I don't know how to do this. That's exactly what I was just thinking. Not so pleasant. That we're going to have to move in a townie to be the caretaker. Hey, River. Hey, River Smith. No, he's a family sim, y'all. I don't want to move him in here. We need a knowledge sim. So who is a knowledge sim that's a townie in Strange Town? Does anybody know of one off the top of their head? I'm going to go look on... And I just realized our music isn't on, too. There we go. Um, I'm going to go look on the wiki. So I'm going to go to Sims 2 Strange Town wiki. And I'm going to look at the townies. And tell me if you guys think of one or know of one. But I'm just going to go look and see who is a knowledge townie. Who's a knowledge townie? Okay, definitely. Wait, what about Bella Goth? <laughs> no, she's not knowledge, though. Jessica A. Body is not knowledge. Gerard Landry. Um, he's family. Poor Gerard. He's family. Trista Shaw. Trista is romance. Oh my god. Quentin McCauley. He's fortune. He's fortune. Um, let's see. Well, we need somebody to live here anyway, so we can do, um, so we can do funerals. So we'll just go ahead and move them in now. Everybody's a romance sim, I swear. How about Margaret? No, Margaret's fortune. Dang it. I want somebody knowledge because that just makes sense to me. I swear every male townie that I've clicked on so far has been, uh, romance. Renee is fortune. They're all romance or fortune. It drives me crazy. If I was making a set of townies, I would do an equal number of each type of um, aspiration. But Maxis just seemed to do whatever. Um, thank you so much for the follow, Sims Playtime. Oh my god, they're either family, fortune, or romance. I swear I can't find anybody that's knowledge. <laughs> Another romance, Caitlin, Ga Ga Caitlin Goss. Matthew Howe. Matthew Howe, y'all. Matthew Howe. Yes. Matthew Howe is knowledge. Now, remember Matthew? He has got a thing for the grunt, guys. He looks kind of like Rip with his long hair, and he was like all into the... He's all obsessed with the grunt people. <laughs> no, I'm doing Matthew. Matthew. We, You guys said that you wanted Matthew to be, to be put into the play. To be put into play. So we're going to put him into play. <laughs> Okay, so here we... Yes, he's gay, too. That's right, he is gay. Okay. So here we go. Let's... Where's our sim blender? Let's go ahead and teleport him over. And that way we know for sure the graves are going to stay. And he can stay here and be the caretaker of the property. Now, we are going to remodel this property so it's more like a museum, funeral home. And then he's going to have a little apartment here. Um, but we'll do that on a, on a build stream. Right now, we just need to get... Wait, what did I just do? I teleport I didn't teleport him I don't know what I'm doing I enabled summon menu so we're gonna summon um no not call any drones what house is he in single not singles obviously a body let's see Matthew we're looking for Matthew Matthew how <clears throat> Here he is. Thank you so much for the follow, Marm Marmaton Calciton. <laughs> okay, here he is, y'all. Matthew Howe in all his glory. We get, we didn't give him any uh, eyelashes. Hold on, we gotta do that real quick. Let's see, gussy up, change appearance. Oh, I got it. No, I'm good. I'm good. Now we'll give. We'll make sure Johnny gets all the money. Don't worry. Johnny gets all of the money. And then we'll give, uh, what's his name here, just a little stipend. Okay, I want to give him some eyelashes here. So it looks like he has skin too. 
There we go. Oh man, look at that nose, y'all. He's got the Benjamin Long face. He's the Benjamin Long of, of Strange Town. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, Val. <laughs> yeah. He's like a better looking lurch. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Maybe he'll get some plastic surgery. That nose. <laughs> that nose is so ridiculous. Who has a pointy nose like that? He's going to be scared to death. He's going to scare the ghost with that nose. They're not going to come near him. <laughs> oh, he's thinking about Johnny. He's, he's got Johnny on the mind. So let's just double check. I want to check his... Um, I want to check his gender preference. Oh, yeah, he's gay. He is gay. That's awesome. So now we've got another gay sim in town. He lives here. He's a long, long nose. <laughs> That's a pecker and a half. <laughs> I just had to manually, manually allow the term pecker in my chat. Go crazy, guys. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yes, that is a perfect outfit for the job. So now Johnny has, we're going to make sure Johnny has 30,000 when he moves out. So let's have him find his own place. And then we'll leave the, the 600 um, for Matthew. So I'll just do all that with cheats. Thank you so much for the follow, Anna Tish. And Paul's just here. Paul came over here to uh, help comfort Johnny, or he stayed here to help comfort Johnny after the loss of his wife and help him with his grandson because Paul's a family sim, so he ca he really cares about that that kind of thing. What? I'm not trying. Oh, I forgot to move in Matthew. Dang it! <laughs> I gotta move Matthew in. Um, family, Matthew Howe, no, not, not set as, thank you so much for the follow, Lidl, Lena, and thank you for the cheer, Harley. Um, uh, family, move in, Matthew, okay, now we can try one more time, good God, it's gonna take me an hour to get this family out of here. <laughs> I love little song from the, uh, the children's station, they're watching cartoons. Woodpecker gets allowed. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for the three month prime sub, blonde girl. Thank you. Okay, so Ishmael's moving out, but Matthew's staying behind. Sorry, I gotta put my my lip gloss, my lip balm on, not gloss. Beeswax lip balm with vitamin E and peppermint. It makes your lips tingle. Okay, you moving out, Johnny? Johnny's going to get the baby, I think. No, he's just going to walk out and leave the baby on the floor, and the baby's going to magically teleport to him at the new house. <laughs> oh, his environment score is, like, all the way down. But, hey, at least we have Matthew here now. He can just spend his time working on the property, and we'll pay him. And I don't care if the computer broke. Okay, there we go. He's gone. Now, Matthew, um, oh, he took 20000 with him. But I'm gonna go ahead. Oh, I'm trying to use the UI. I'm trying to use the UI cheats extension. <laughs> I'm like clicking on the money. <laughs> no, you can't do that, Cindy. You have to do a big old clunky cheat. Okay, family funds. Oh, I don't even know what this household name is. Ah, crap. Okay, hold on. We're gonna get Matthew to repair the computer and then we're gonna do it through the computer. And let's check his skills, by the way. Oh my god, he's a level 9 freaking astronaut. <laughs> he's a level 9 astronaut. He has max body skill. <laughs> I th what should we do? Should we let him keep his job? Should we let him keep his job and maybe he just does this uh, as a like as a side thing? Like he does this just for room and board? Aw, oh, hey, Taco Shelby. I'm glad you love Strange Town. Strange Town is really good. He is very skilled. Like, I'm thinking that he just takes care of the cemetery property because he's handy and he likes mm -hmm. doing it. He's not afraid of the ghost, and he gets a free place to live. That's what I'm thinking. We'll just let him keep his level 9 job. Okay, he repaired that, so let's get... Let's um transfer... Let's just... We're just going to donate 10000 and then we're going to give Johnny the 10000 he uses his nose for press-ups. <laughs> he's an astronaut. He's an astronaut by day, gravekeeper by night. That's Matthew Howe. 
Okay, so we're gonna save here. <laughs> Full-time astronaut, part-time mortician. <laughs> yes, he loves the house. That's why he's doing it, I think. So as a knowledge sim, he's really interested in this property, I think. Okay, so let's go back out to the neighborhood and find Johnny and Ishmael. Yeah, I think he's doing it. He's doing it because he's interested in it too. All right, so here they are. They only have 20,000, which is not enough for this house, but he should have actually sold the house. So let's see how much the house is worth. And then he'll get that much plus 10,000. So 67,000 he still gets. Okay, um, so I'm going to just go ahead and cheat him that money, and that's going to be the Smith household. Oops, I have caps lock on. Smith, um, how much does he have now? Can I do plus 67,000? Because he took 27,000 with him. I'm just going to give him 87,000. Okay. So that's how much he got in total for the cash that was left over after Olive died and then after Ophelia died and also from selling the property. I guess he sold the property to Sim City because now it's going to be like a historic landmark because Matthew does not own it. He's just living there um, and he gets to live there for free. Okay, so we're going to move him in to his new home that we were working on for him. What, Marie? Oh, that's so funny. Your Google Assistant searched the meaning of the word additional and <laughs> started speaking out loud. <laughs> I have a, I have like a little bit of water over here. I might drink that. Yeah, I know it was 57, but there was still 10,000 in the household funds that he gets as well. So I added that to it. Okay, so here's the house. Oh my gosh, it looks so good, guys. We did such a good job on this. Oh, I see some missing... Hold on, I see some missing... Um, panel there. Okay, yeah, I did re... I did recolor those... Those uh, columns. So here's how it looks on the outside. And then on the inside... It still needs a little bit of work, but I we did do the bathrooms, so at least they have that furnished. And then um, the kitchen is furnished as well. The kitchen and bathroom. So we just need to throw a little bit of furniture in here for them to get started. He has 28,000 simoleons left. I don't want to spend a lot of time on this because I know you guys want to play today. Um, so we're just going to basically throw in a quick couch and TV and whatever else in a couple beds and get started. And then if, as we need things as we go, we'll buy more. Okay, so um, what is this? That's Vanadium Kitchen. What am I on? The same bedroom set I always use, Benjamin Bedroom. <laughs> Let's try to find another one. Box set, no. Um, dining room, let's see. Bon Bon, no, that's for kids. Let me find a bedroom set. Here's one. I feel like I always use these two. Uh, rhodium. I always use that one. That would be good for him, though. I'm using it anyway. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Oh, yay, Doris. <laughs> All right. So let's do black and black and black. Those are Johnny's colors. As black as his heart, as black as his soul. He's in mourning, too, by the way. We'll do this one. Um, let's give him a nice double bed up here. Because Johnny may eventually, he may eventually want to get remarried, guys. Like, right now, he's still kind of mourning the loss of Ophelia, obviously, since it just happened. But he's going to want to eventually probably get married, I think. I don't know. It's up to him. It's truly up to him. I'm going to put a lamp there. And that'll be fine for now. Oh, I love these, these blankets that you can put over. But it doesn't really look that great over that bedding. Hold on. Oh, I, I missed a wall. Nah, none of those match, so we're not going to use those. Um, where did I miss a wall? I don't see a wall that I missed. I think I got all the walls. You might have been seeing that uh, tile there. Um, thank you so much for the four months, Jasmine. Thank you so much. And thank you for the follow Silver Linings, if I didn't say that. 
And I got to hydrate from Catriona, so I'm going to drink some coffee. <laughs> yeah, I need to get some recolors of that. I really do. Um, but that's okay. That's fine for now. And so then I'm going to put Johnny's uh, microphone up here so he can have like a little music room up here. I think we'll give him the smaller room. Right, we'll just put that right in the middle for now. And then we'll make this the nursery. So let's just throw, um, let me just find my nursery set. He he has a lot of money, so we can do a more expensive nursery. We'll do the, I love the Hanson nursery. So we'll put that there and then we'll do a changing table. And that's really all we need for the moment. That's really all we need to get started is a changing table in a crib. Let's see if we can make that match. There we go. And then, oh, we need a light in there, too. We definitely need a light in the baby's room. Um, let me see here. So I'm just going to do one of these lights. And let me turn quarter tile placement on. I got to look around my microphone. Let's put a light in the music room. Um, we've already got one lamp in Johnny's room, but I'll put another light in there. Let's put a light in the hallway. Um, we've got lights in the bathrooms already. And then we'll throw some lights down here as well. Put one in this room. Oh, maybe, you know what? Let's make this the music room. That way it's not right beside the nursery, you know? We don't want to be waking up the baby. And especially if he gets more band members. So we'll make that the music room downstairs. And then all we just need is like a uh, couch right a couch and a tv and we'll be good to start oh that's a good idea about getting him with bella we'll see we'll see who he ends up with who he likes i like the idea of him uh getting with bella though um we've got the mallory living room i love this living room set why not let's use it is there a black one there's like a gray there's like a gray we can use so let's give let's do a couch Do the gray couch. Put that right here. And then we need like a TV stand, coffee table. We'll use a sideboard. Dang it. We'll put it, we can put a TV, t the TV on the sideboard. What do we think? I don't know if I, I think I want black furniture though. I think I want black furniture. So I think I'm not gonna go with the Mallory set, I'm sorry. I know I said I was gonna make this quick and I'm trying, I'm trying. Maybe we'll do the the living corner. I love this set. I feel like I used this set too much. We can do a red and black and then we could change the color of the walls in here. And um, this'll work for now. And then I'm gonna put a coffee table and I'm gonna put the TV on it like that and then we're gonna put the TV and then that'll be good for now if we need anything else as we go we will purchase it where is my TV there we go and then maybe a rug maybe we'll move this back one and maybe we'll put a chair dang it I just keep going I'm sorry I can't stop <laughs> oh yeah he needs a phone he needs a phone for sure yes um, this will just be to get us started. And maybe a lamp. Oh, there's no lamp. There's a coffee table. <laughs> I just want to keep decorating it. Okay, we'll put a coffee table there. I'll move that over a little bit. And um, <clears throat> we'll put one of these rugs down. Ooh, that rug actually looks really good. Can't move it. I gotta grab it by the by the I gotta grab it by the side. Oh, it's a square. Is there like a bigger size? Cause that just is like, doesn't quite, or a smaller size. Mm, I don't like that. I don't like how it's fitting there. Oh no. Hold on, let me try the smaller size. Oh no, that's too small. Okay, we'll just go with the big one. We'll just go with the big one, okay. 
And that'll just, that'll have to work for now. I'll put a little lamp here and we'll be good. Oh, and a phone. Let's do a phone. We're going to do the expensive phone, which I still haven't been bothered to go and actually download some more phones. I need to do that. And then one little lamp and we'll call it good. One little lamp. I'm going to put a little Ikea lamp right there. Now I, now I think that the rug doesn't match. Now I think it's more orange than red, so hold on. Let me look at the other colors. That one matches, but is that too much red? Is that too much red? Okay, hold on. I think it's too much. No, come here. Come here. <laughs> I can't grab it. Um, I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a black. I think a black or something that's like patterned with red. Let's see. That's not, that's too like fancy pants. That's too fancy pants for Johnny. I have a lot of these like patterned rugs. I don't, that square does not work for me. It does not work. <laughs> I'm gonna find, I'm gonna do this, I swear. Um, how about this one? No, none of those colors work. I love this rug. Oh, I like that. Okay, I like that. That works. That works for me. <laughs> okay, we're gonna call that good. That's good enough for them to start living. And like I said, we can buy more as we go. Oh my God, he wants to defeat the Grim Reaper. Well, it's too late for that, Johnny. You can't defeat him now. <laughs> He's already gone. If he would have, if he would have rolled that before, which I hope he didn't roll that before and I just didn't notice it. But it's too late now. I know it's sad. It's sad. It really is. But it makes for a good story, so I'm okay with it. I mean, as okay as I can be with it. All right, Johnny, let's take the kid inside. He also wants to gain a skill point, um, which he has. Look at that body skill. Dang, he has seven body skill, two mechanical, three creativity, and one cleaning. So he's going to work on his skill point on his microphone. But first, let's take the baby upstairs. Oh, God, we need a baby fridge, y'all. I mean, a bottle, a bottle fridge, a baby fridge. Same thing, right? Same thing. Let's get a bottle fridge. And then also I want to get a trash can. Oops, where's trash can? There you are. Put that right here. Okay. We're finally ready. <laughs> We're finally ready. Um, let's take him upstairs, feed him a bottle, and put him in the crib. And then Johnny can start working on his on his skills. He also wants to learn couples counseling. Aw. I don't know what that means. I don't know how to take that. Okay, so he's gonna feed the baby a bottle. Aw, cute little Ishmael. <laughs> Aw, thank you so much, Nikki. Thank you for giving out the five gift subs to Feisty Cat, Not So Pleasant, Flower Lust, Jess Dolph, and, and Hana, Hana Kawaka. I'm sorry, I can't say your name. Thank you so much, Nikki, for giving out those gift subs. And don't forget, guys, even if you're on a gift sub, you can still come to our uh, members-only live stream. So join the Discord. Okay, Johnny, uh, dispose of that, and let's go start working on your singing, I guess. You can go use the bathroom and start singing. Now, Johnny is getting a lot better at singing as well. And we're going to get him that skill point that he wants. Oh, here comes the newspaper. His ho I, this house turned out, like, so good. I really love how this house turned out. <laughs> I think it's going to be perfect for he him to raise Ishmael and any other kids that he might have from future relationships that we hope he will have because he's still very young, right? He still has 36 days until he becomes an adult. I think eventually he'll be ready to move on and meet someone new. And he fears Ophelia is a zombie. Well, don't worry. She's not going to be a zombie. Oh, <laughs> Thank, I'm just going to call you Hana because I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> no, Twitch and YouTube members, Jen. 
Twitch and YouTube. Um, YouTube, as long as you're at the $4.99 level or above. The $1.99 level on YouTube is going away. But I'll tell you guys more about that later. Okay. So it's Monday, and I'm okay that it's 10 a.m. What's the season supposed to be? What season are we on, guys? I don't even know. Tell me if you know. He doesn't have a job. His job is being a singer. <laughs> he hasn't wanted to get a job. He's living on this... He's living on the Spectre money right now. Thank you so much for the follow, Vera. And I got two hydrates. I got one seven minutes ago. I'm sorry. Here's that one. And I got um, another one from Not So Pleasant. Summer? Um, so we just started. So it should be second summer because we're, we're on second. We're on second. Um... What am I trying to say? We're on the second round. So it needs to be second summer. Am I right? I think it needs to be second summer. We're going to go to season and weather control. We're going to change it to second summer. So that'll be third season three. I think it's second summer because I, the first round we played one day of spring and four days of first summer. And now we're on season. Now we're on round two. So tell me if I'm wrong, but I think that's right. Oh, thank you so much, Danny, for gifting the sub to Jen. Thank you. Yay. Now, Jen, now you're a member on both. Thank you. <laughs> okay, listen to him go. Whip, wab, wom, minerpy. It's like he's a crooner. Is he crooning? <laughs> I think he's crooning. Zip, zap, zom, minerpy. Zip, zap, zom, minerpy. Minerpy, zang, zoo. Minerpy, zang, zoo. I'm going to learn the words. <laughs> you think I have my sub goal too low? Well, I'm afraid because one time I, lo I, I, I raised it. To 10 and then I didn't get hit it and then I was like oh that's disappointing <laughs> I'll just put it back to 7 <laughs> maybe I'll try and raise it to 10 from now on because I think I usually get more than 10 it was 4pm when Johnny moved out so I'm letting him have those couple hours back <laughs> there was two days left of second summer okay two days left in second summer okay we need to change that then thank you thank you marta um let's change that how do i do that do i do that with this i don't remember that season length two days okay two days left in summer then all right thank you i would have just let him keep going for for uh, four more days. <laughs> I have a 10% chance, Bexy, on my uh, death by childbirth, and that is the only time it's ever happened to me, is with Ophelia. So I'm okay with the 10%. If it starts getting out of hand, I'll lower it, but so far it hasn't been that bad. Yeah, I know. I wanted him to be like a rock singer, and he's singing like some Frank Sinatra. <laughs> Uh, welcome, Cluck Klu Klu Klausen. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Jesse Gaming. Okay, Johnny, you you gotta do something else with your life. Oh, some visitors have come. All right. Oh, who's that waddling down here? That's Aaron Beaker. <laughs> Aaron Beaker's waddling over here to welcome us to the neighborhood. Well, let's let's say hello to her. Is she the only one who came? Thanks, Aaron. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> Johnny's a crooner, I know. <laughs> I thought you guys would like that little pun. Okay, come on, Johnny. Get out here. Don't make the pregnant lady wait in the street for you. <laughs> She's talking to him about the crime in the neighborhood. She's like, you, you've been experiencing any criminal activity around here? 
Um, let's see. Ooh, they have two bolts together. But Aaron is with- who's Aaron with? Buzz? I think Aaron's with Buzz. <laughs> or Tank, Tank, Tank. Who's with- I can't remember who's with who anymore. Yeah, I think he's turning into a lounge singer. Oh my god, he wants a pet, y'all. He wants a pet. Oh, he wants a pet. What am I gonna do? <laughs> Kristen is with Buzz. Oh, that's right. Kristen is with- that's right. I remember now. I remember now. Yep, she has his baby. Little Floyd. <laughs> Buy him a cat. Oh no, the Babby! Oh no, Babby, Babby! <laughs> Okay, let's go. Let's go. Um, okay, we got to take care of the kid. We can't hang out with you on the sidewalk. Let's go cuddle um, Ishmael and see if he's probably going to need a diaper change. Give him a fish. <laughs> he wants a pet, but he doesn't tell me what kind of pet he wants. So we're going to wait on that wish. Come on, come on. Get up here and take care of your child. Oh, he has the dirty diaper. Change Ishmael's diaper. Feed him a bottle. Put him back in the crib. We'll see if your guest is still here. Be careful with that baby powder. Dang. And let's see. Did she come inside? Oh, she did. No, Melba! <laughs> it's Melba! <laughs> Melba, where are you? Oh, lordy. Here she is. Mel this is Melba Lee. This is Strange Town's Melba. Melba Lee. <laughs> Greetings to you, my dearie. Okay, we're gonna um we're gonna get rid of you, Melba. We don't need your help. Actually, just whatever. You can you can creep around. I don't care anymore. Just creep around. <laughs> I know we need a Melba emote so bad. I'm still waiting on my partner application. I'm sorry, guys. It's been like six weeks. They haven't gotten back to me yet. But I think that's a good sign. It's Melba Lee. Melba should have been the crypt keeper. <laughs> Jailba. Donnie, no, don't walk. What are you doing? No, you can't walk in. She's in the bathroom. Johnny. <laughs> he just walked right in on her. No, get it. Don't watch her pee. This is so weird, Johnny. He's like, I'm just going to stand here and watch you go. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Why don't you come cook some dinner, Johnny? Let's go cook some, let's go make some Italian subs. <laughs> I know, so rude of her peeing while he wants to take a bath. Let's have him go serve some lunch for her. <laughs> oh, that's interesting, Marta. That's interesting. I've seen people become partner with 4K followers, so I'm hoping that I have enough. I don't know really what all they take into consideration. I think it's, you know, how many people watch your streams, if you're growing, if you're interactive and stuff. So, I, ha I have high hope I'm going to get accepted, but I, it just takes a while, I guess. Why is who green? Alright, so Johnny's serving. Let's see. Let's call, um, let's call guest to meal. Come on, Aaron. Come get yourself a sandwich. We're going to eat in the new kitchen. See, this the stool was giving us trouble in Dina's apartment, but it's not giving us our condo. It's not giving us trouble here. I think it was because of like where I placed it in Dina's condo that it caused problems because our Sims seem to be able to sit at these stools pretty well right here. He's talking to her about woohoo. Wow, Johnny, that might be a little bit inappropriate. Oh, I just forgot. Uh, we need to spawn. I just forgot. I just remembered. <laughs> I just forgot about this, guys. We need to spawn a casual romance controller. We're going to change this to an orchid, and we're going to put it upstairs in the bedroom. I hate... You know what the one thing I don't like about this set is I can't put anything on the dresser. So I have to use an OMSP to put something on the dresser. It drives me crazy. But that's okay. We're going to do it. It's worth it. It's worth it because this set is lovely. Okay, so we're going to put this. I probably should get closer to that because I can't see. <laughs> I can't see if that's right. 
Yes, there we go. Okay, perfect. All right, Johnny, back to your back to your smooth conversation over here about woohoo and art. <laughs> I know Tank would be so mad if he knew she was over here alone. <laughs> wow, really, Evil Doer? Seven weeks? Okay, then I guess I'm not doing too bad. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, Midget Spinner. <laughs> midget Spinner. And uh, let me do a hydrate from Lie Heart Fox. Woohoo and art, my favorite subjects. <laughs> I'm reading that from the chat. They're not actually my favorite subjects. <laughs> oh, Johnny, what? You didn't like that? He didn't like that. He was like poo on that. Okay, he's going to, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I put the ACR adjuster and then I'm like shocked. I'm like, oh, how could this happen? Oh no, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> Who farted in here? <laughs> so can you imagine if Tank finds out that Johnny is having an affair? Like, okay, he didn't do it. He didn't do it because she was watching TV, but he thought about it. Oh God, here he goes again. Oh, he's trying to hug her romantically. Thank you so much for the sub, Jules. Thank you. Yeah, with his enemy's wife. See, she's gonna be a rebound for him though because he's still mourning Ophelia. You know what I mean? Oh boy. Oh, they're playing rock, paper, scissors. She's like, I don't want to hug you romantically, but you know what? I could go for a game of a rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> I'm just waiting on something to happen between these two. Yeah, he needs some rebound loving. You know what I mean? He's lonely, guys. It's been like in real time, like a year since Ophelia passed now. Um, Ishmael's birthday is only a day away. Go, Johnny, go, go. Johnny, be good. <laughs> That's Strange Town foreplay. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> okay, Johnny, that was. Oh, God, what's he doing now? He's going to squeeze her. Oh, here it comes. <gasps> Johnny, no. <laughs> Johnny, she's nine months pregnant with your enemy's baby. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. Well, there they go. They're making out. Man, Tank is gonna be long, long his man. Oh, nope, there he goes again. <laughs> Johnny, you gotta stop. You gotta take care of your needs, okay? Go grab, go eat a sandwich. Calm yourself down, Johnny. <laughs> the next household is actually I gotta pull up my spreadsheet here because I don't even know I don't even remember who the next household is you guys might remember before I get my spreadsheet up here um, no the next household is the beakers it's the beakers so we're actually going to be having nervous and Pascal get married um, at the end of the next round we didn't get them married yet did we I didn't think so I don't think so. I don't remember that. <laughs> I don't remember that. She's eating his sandwiches. Yeah, she's pregnant by his enemy. Let's see how their relationship is. Yep, they're still enemies. And Johnny, I don't know what Johnny's doing. I think, honestly, guys, I just think he's lonely. He's making a mistake. You know, everybody does it. You get lonely. You do things. Maybe you shouldn't do, because you need a little loving. You need a little company in your life. Let's put away these leftovers. <laughs> nope, I'm like 10 years older than that midget spinner, but thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. A lot of people think I'm younger than I am. He's stirring the drama pot. Yes, he is. <laughs> Okay, so I think it's time for Erin to go home. Or I guess we'll let her stay a little bit longer. Just see if anything happens. Until he gets too tired. He's got to go use the bathroom, though. 
What is she doing? What is she doing? Why are you going upstairs, Aaron? Are you going all the way? Oh, she's probably just going to the bathroom. I hope. I don't know what Aaron's excuse is, honestly. I don't know. I don't know why she's going along with it. Maybe she she feels sorry for Johnny, you know? She feels she's he's got I mean, look at him. Look at him. He's really good looking. At least I think he is. <laughs> oh, I got a meme time. Okay, and thank you for the follow, Jasmine. Johnny's really good looking. He's sensitive. He's a musician, kind of. He's a singer. He's gonna be the front man of a band, so come on. That's sexy. And he lost his wife. So he's got those sympathy points going for him. I mean, I guess she just can't resist herself. <laughs> it's the baby hormones. Okay, he's going to take a bath. Somebody's calling too. Okay, what was I just gonna do? Oh, meme time. Okay, meme time. While Johnny takes a bath, I will look for a meme. Let's see, what do we have? What did you, we haven't done memes in a while, so I should have a nice backlog here. Let me see. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. I just opened it right up and this one was there. And it was so funny. Okay, this is um, from Borsha. From Borsha Ursine. <laughs> Herb to coral every night when they're about to go to sleep. Come on, find your pelvis. I know you've got one and it's okay to move it. <laughs> oh, that cracks me up. That cracks me up. Thank you, Borsha. Thank you for that meme. <laughs> that feeling when I'm a spider and somebody starts critiqu critiquing my web making skills. <laughs> oh, critique work. I don't know. I think you could have done it better, spider. I think you could have done a better job. I relate to that so much, being a YouTube creator. Yes, everything you create gets critiqued. <laughs> That's so funny. Thank you, Sanny. Thank you. Herb the old dog. <laughs> okay, here's one more. This is from Nathan. Uh, best memories in Sims 3, having a first kiss, marriage, having a ba babby, buying a marshmallow. Number one, number one memory. <laughs> Thank you guys. Those are all really good memes. Thank you for the memes. <laughs> I'm relating to that spider. Oh yeah, I relate. What are you doing, Aaron? You can't go in there. Donnie's taking, oh, she's leaving. She's out of here. I think she like had to take a bath or something. Who the heck is that? Joel Jeffries, don't just walk into my house. What are you, what? Why are you, where are you going? He just walked into my house and started walking up the stairs. Okay, you were not invited in here, Joel. You were, you and your comb over were not invited in here. <laughs> Jeez. No, he's not a, ho he's not a hobby. He's a townie. He's not a hobby sim. He's a townie sim. And I have those hobby sims turned off or like blocked or modded out or however you want to put it. They don't exist in my game. I thought he was coming for the babby. Um, okay, but Johnny has to answer the phone. He can't deal with you right now, Joel. Get out of here. What are you doing? No, why? No. <laughs> He's just going to sit down on the couch and start watching TV. <laughs> I don't know. He's, maybe he's Robin Banks. He looks like Robin Banks with that hair, doesn't he? <laughs> oh, man. Okay, who's he talking to? Oh, he's talking to uh, Chloe. Curious. But he's related to her, so that doesn't matter to me. <laughs> um, I don't know what's going to happen with Johnny, y'all. He's going to have to go to ask this guy, why the heck are you here? Ask him to leave. You, he doesn't even know you. <laughs> I know. Hello, I'm here now. I'm here now watching your TV sitting on your furniture. No, he didn't woohoo with her. He didn't woohoo with Aaron, no. No, he just, they just had a little, uh, they had a little makeout session, but they didn't woohoo. Aw, oh, thank you so much, genuinely, for the three month Prime sub. Thank you so much. <laughs> Johnny does not know Bella. 
Um, he know this is all the people that he knows. Mostly everybody's related to him except for Aaron and Buck Grunt. Um, everybody else is related to him that he knows. He doesn't know that many people. We need to send him out on the town. We need to get like a nightclub or a bar or something in Strange Town. We really do. You want a screenshot before he leaves of Joel? This is a good screenshot because this is Johnny like looking over, looking over at him. Like, what are you doing? Um, uh, let's put the walls up. <laughs> Screenshot. Oh, I gotta hydrate too. Let me do a hydrate. I'm hydrating myself with coffee. I know that's not good. <laughs> butt grunt. <laughs> Who said butt grunt? <laughs> Oops, I gotta go back down. Butt grunt. <laughs> the balding man I did I said buck K K not ta <laughs> Now but from now on I'm calling him buck grunt and I'm going to see if you guys can notice it <laughs> His hair looks like the top of a shepherd's pie <laughs> That's the first time I've ever heard that one He's just turning the TV on and off Okay, Johnny, you gotta tell this guy to get out of your house. You gotta get off the phone. No, don't. Get off the phone. Sorry, I gotta go. Um, there's a weird dude in my house I have to kick out. Then Johnny's gonna get himself a late night snack. He's gonna go to sleep. But, but, grunting butt. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow. Gra grab, grab, grabugs, grabugs. <laughs> Okay, let's get a snack. No, let's have some bread. No, come get your pumpkin bread. I should have done banana bread. That's okay. Go get your pumpkin bread. I'm like, I want some pumpkin bread right now. I want some pumpkin bread. <laughs> I'm going to live vicariously through Johnny. Johnny, you eat that pumpkin bread and you enjoy it. Okay, he's going to have his midnight snack here. It literally is a midnight snack. And then he's got to go check on the baby. Oh my God, Babby. Babby needs us. Butt grunt sounds like a fart. <laughs> it is. It's a butt grunt. <laughs> Poor Buck. He's named after a fart. Okay, let's go put this away. That's hilarious to me. He's from now on, he's butt grunt. I hope somebody's making a meme. <laughs> that I know. The kitchen did turn out really well. It was a struggle for me. I was having a hard time making decisions because my brain was addled. But um, it turned out pretty good. Okay, we need to hold. We need to hold Ishmael, and um, I know. I just want to say that I know you guys told me that it's supposed to be Is Ishmael, but I'm not able to say that with my accent without struggling. So I have to say Ishmael. So just just letting you know, if I don't get corrected every three seconds. <laughs> Pumpkin cookies, yes. Pumpkin cookies sounds good. You know what else sounds good to me? Peanut butter cookies. Ever since my Sim ate peanut butter cookies, I'm like, I really want some peanut butter cookies. Okay, let's uh, cuddle Ishmael and put him in the crib. <laughs> no, no Peppas. Peppas are out of this chat. Most Americans can't say your name in real life. Yeah. I don't know what your name is, but I believe you. <laughs> I believe you. Okay, let's put him to bed, and then Johnny's going to go to bed himself. And tomorrow's another day for him to practice his singing and hopefully not get with his pregnant next-door neighbor. <laughs> I love peanut butter cookies, too. Uh, the baby's parents are Johnny and Ophelia. Yes, Johnny Smith and Ophelia. But Ophelia has passed away, sadly, in childbirth, so... Now, Johnny is a single father, raising his baby alone while dealing with the pain of losing the love of his life. It's quite sad. And um, let me save, too. You made pumpkin cookies with dates inside? Ooh, yummy. I love dates. That sounds good. That sounds really good. Let's cuddle Ishmael and put him in the fridge. <laughs> Just put him in there. He needs to cool down. Yeah, that's how I say it, Marius. Marius. I sometimes I say Marius. I don't know. <laughs> How's it supposed to be said? 
You don't like dates? I do. I like them. I like them. I like uh, Laura bars that are made out of dates are so good. Okay, Johnny. You Johnny has such a good, easy life. He just has to wake up and, like, watch TV. Um, that living set I got from Veronica. It's called the UNG... UNG's living set or something like that by Veronica. No, he does not have a burglar alarm now that you mention it. Oh, and we left the bread out all night, too. Let's get him a burglar alarm. He doesn't... Did we put... Oh, yeah, we put a smoke alarm in. We put a smoke alarm in there. I wonder if there's a recolor of this that doesn't have toast in it. No, they all... Oh, yeah. Okay, good. I don't want toast just constantly in there. Um, but, yeah, let's do a burglar alarm. Put it right there. Good, good, good. The pea sound. Oh man, brownies are my favorite. Brownies are my favorite dessert. Okay, let's go put this bread up. And then Johnny, I guess you're free to do whatever you want. He wants to meet someone new and dance with someone. Okay, since he wants to meet someone new, y'all, I think we need to hire a babysitter and send him out on the town and see who he can meet. Yes, tomorrow is Edgewood Day. Mmm, <laughs> fudgy gooey brownies, yes. Okay, so let's have him um, hire a babysitter just for now. I'm going to call service. I have no idea what that is, Volteo. I don't know what a foray nor. I don't know what that is. Explain to me. Okay, we're gonna hire a nene. Ooh, I love cheesecake too. Yum, yum. I love no bake and bake. I love all the kinds. <laughs> Just for now. Brownies with salted caramel. I don't think I've ever had that. Yeah, I probably will never be able to say that, Marius. I'm just gonna call you Marius like a like an American plebe. <laughs> the house does look cozy. I really like how the house turned out. It needs more furniture, but I don't want to make this a building's dream. Oh yeah, get all of Veronica's stuff. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Chipotle E and hard I, Iino. AI, 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 no? I don't know if I'm, I'm probably butchering that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, the nanny's here, so it's time for Johnny to go out on the town. We're gonna walk because we don't have a car. We're gonna walk to a community lot. And I think I'm gonna go... I guess we'll go down to the shopping center. It's gonna lag a little bit. Okay, I made this strip mall. It's really big and it has a lot of stuff on it. So it lags a little bit. I'm sorry. I was I was over I was overly ambitious. <laughs> Whenever I built this, but it's not too bad usually. Seafood linguine. Oh, that sounds absolutely awful to me because I don't like seafood or pasta. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Ambrosia. I'm so glad it helped you. Yeah, I learned that technique from, uh, from like a really old post on Pooklet's Tumblr and I had to share it with you guys because it's awesome. And now you can have, now I have all my Sims looking different in Edgewood. We use that technique. People from outside of America have an easier time pronouncing your name. Yeah. No, I do not like pasta. I don't like any kind of pasta. The only kind of pasta I can eat is like macaroni and cheese. And then I have to be, like, in the mood for it. Okay, here's my laggy, uh... <laughs> my laggy strip mall. But it looks good, damn it. <laughs> so let's go inside and see who he can meet. Okay, here is Tiffany Riley. Is she a teen? Come here, Tiffany. I think she's a teenager. Okay, we gotta stay away from the teenagers, alright? We're staying away from the teens. We got Razor Waiter still in here, y'all. <laughs> I have not changed him. He gets to be, he gets to live as himself. He gets to be himself today. 
Okay, there's Nervous. Nervous is mad at, at Loki. And I still don't see any ladies. He's going to look at the computer in the uh, office of the restaurant. There's Cooper. Okay, I'm just I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. Oh, Caitlin Goss. Okay, here's a girl he can meet. He just wants to meet somebody. I am choosing to have him meet a girl, just in case. So greet Caitlin. He identifies as Razor Waiter, and we respect that. Yes, yes, that's true. Look at him go. Look at him go. He doesn't let his disabilities get in his way. <laughs> He's doing a great job. Ooh, there's Jessica A. Body. She's a romance sim, I know, and I, I don't, I think Caitlyn is too. So many romance sims in um, Strange Town. Oh, he wants to buy new jewelry. Okay, we can buy some new jewelry. Um, he has one bolt with both of them, so that's not really that great. Let's go over and buy some jewelry in the clothing store. And we'll see if there's anything else he wants to do. Maybe he should get himself a nice earring. <laughs> that waiter has a default replacement waiter's outfit that does not have a fat morph. So it is broken because he's fat. And we just leave him that way because we like him. <laughs> we like him just how he is. I know, romance and fortune. That's all we've got in Strange Town. And family. Um, okay, so let's see here. We're going to get him an earring. That'll work. A nice little stud. A nice little stud for a stud. Add to the cart. Good for you, Johnny. Going out, doing your thing. Trying to move on with his life. Tiffany's trying to talk to him. Watch him have like three bolts with this teenage girl. No, he doesn't. Okay, so what else does he want to do? He wants to have a party. I guess we could go home and throw a party. Um, he wants to be best friends with Aaron. Make a BFF. Learn couples counseling. Learn couples counseling is boring, Johnny. It's boring, okay? So he's going to go home and maybe we'll throw a party and invite some of these people he's met. Let's see. Walk. Oops, walked a lot, walk home. All right, Johnny, you're done. You're done, you already bought some jewelry. He came to town, he met a few girls, he bought an earring, and now he's going back home. <laughs> hey, Olya. Hope everything went well for you this morning. I'm glad you could make it. Oh yeah, we'll throw a family party because he pretty much only knows family and a couple of, he knows a couple other people, but we'll invite everybody over. And everybody can come over and like make him feel better, you know? And he's going to show off his new house, show off his baby. It'll be nice. Thank you for the follow, Madalie. Yeah, I could see her leaving Tank for Johnny too. I really could, especially once she gets to know Tank a little bit. <laughs> a little bit more, you know, because they kind of rushed into a relationship. Sophie? Who the heck is Sophie? Um, okay. I don't know who Sophie is. Maybe it was, I don't know. Our bills are due, too. Oh, was it the, na oh, it was a stupid nanny. It was a stupid nanny, and now the baby's home alone. Oh, no, come on. Oh, no, please don't let the baby get... Oh, he's home. Okay, thank God. Whew. Ooh, stupid nanny. My, I feel like my nannies have been really bugging out lately. Oh, God. Okay, so let's go... Oh, yeah, it's Ishmael's birthday. I totally forgot. Thank you, Mar Marius. Marius. Now, see, now you got in my head, and now I'm thinking about your name every time I try to say it. <laughs> okay, yes, we're going to throw a birthday party for the baby. That's what we're going to do. Um, but first, let's have Johnny come and uh, take care of his needs because he's in the yellow. I know, that was almost really bad. Luckily, he wasn't gone for too long. Come on, Johnny. Take care of your baby. Change diaper. Um, let's give him a bottle. Put him back in the crib. No, I deleted her because she got bugged out. She got bugged out. Sims 2 is the best. I mean, I truly think it's the best game out of all three games. But I like all three of them for different reasons. 
different different qualities. Okay, put the baby down. Oh, you're already doing that. Let's go see who's freaking calling. You have to reinstall windows. Oh, God. Let's answer the phone real quick. He's got to get this party going, though. Thanks, Rita. And hello. And today's our last day with the family, too. So we'll... we'll oh, my God. It's Erin. She's calling, I think, isn't it? Yes. We're going to invite her to the party for sure, but Tank doesn't get invited. I'm going to let him talk for like 20 more minutes, and then he's got to get off the phone so he can throw this party. So we're going to end his round with a bang here with a party. Thank you so much for continuing your gift sub, Blue Chicken. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I talk about the Sims 4. <laughs> Um, for when you download uh, lots, Beth, you don't just put them in your folder. You have to install the pack file. So you have to double click. You have to, here's what I do. Pull it to your desktop, double click on it, and wait a few seconds for the installer to pop up and install it into your game. You don't, you can't just put it in a folder. I hope that makes sense. But if it doesn't, you can ask for help in the Discord. Okay, Johnny, what are you doing? We gotta start this party. Oh my god, don't take a bubble bath. Just take a quick shower. Take a quick shower. Okay, now he's ready. He's ready to go. Um, Let's throw a party. We're gonna throw a birthday party. And we're gonna invite all the family. We're gonna invite everybody over. We're even gonna, gonna invite Aaron since he wants to be best friends with her. Okay, we'll do a commercial break in just a moment. We'll do a commercial break after we do the party. How about that? It'll be a good stopping point. Okay, so we're going to invite Aaron, Chloe, um, Rip. We're not inviting Tank. Um, we'll invite Jenny, Jill, Paul. Um, might as well invite the Curious Boys over too. We'll, we'll invite... Uh, oh, I can't invite anybody else. So that's fine. That's fine. And then let's get, let's go ahead and get a birthday cake as well. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see what little Ishmael's gonna look like as a toddler, y'all. He's gonna look so cute. Okay, I'll put this here. You know what, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put like a table, like a cheap table out here. So we're not all blocked in the kitchen. Um, I'm just gonna put it here and put the cake on it here. That way we can all gather around and like actually see him age up. Thank you so much for the follow, Eliz. Missing some of your party guests? Not everybody is coming. That's all right. I didn't think they would. Uh, well, what? what's wrong, Johnny? You're unhappy with the party? I mean, you're unhappy with the cake and the table? <laughs> it's temporary, okay? I'm not going to leave it in your house. So here's Jill, Chloe, uh, Laszlo is here, Paul, Aaron, and Jenny are here. Okay, so a lot of people showed up. Why is uh, Jenny walking like that? Look at that. What's that walk? <laughs> what? She's she's sauntering around. Look at her go. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> That's the romance sim walk? I've never seen a romance sim walk like that. Well, how come I never noticed that before? Oh my god, what just happened? Who's falling in love out here? Oh, jeez, Johnny. This is not good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah he's uh he's really falling for Aaron he really is I think he might be he might have to steal Aaron away from tank y'all <laughs> okay well you know what it's getting close to six so let's go ahead and age up uh Ishmael <laughs> sure. Yeah, drama's good. That's true, but it's not. It's it's gonna be bad. Okay, what are these Sims doing in here? Are you guys eating all my chips? You eating all my instant meals? I see what you're doing. And Paul and Jenny are just all over each other. Okay, he can't get to the baby. Come on now, get out of the way. Get out of the way, Paul. Okay, we gotta do, we gotta do it again. Bring Ishmael to cake. We're barely gonna make it at this point. Everybody's just in the kitchen. Maybe we should get a stereo. Let's get a stereo. 
Um, so people can dance and stuff and have a good time. And Johnny actually needs to talk to his guests, too. Let's see. Oh, that's not stereos. Let's just get him one of these. We'll put it over here. Kind of. No, maybe over here. I don't know. I don't know if I like that there. But that's okay. It's just temporary anyway. <laughs> They're not eating all the spam and wine. That's right. They're just eating our chips. <laughs> okay, he's bringing the baby. I hope. Yeah, here we go. Here comes the baby. We're going to get to see what he looks like a little bit more. Now that he's becoming a toddler. So yeah, it's been now it's been a couple years since Ophelia has passed in sim time. Or in real life time to sim time, the way I play. I think this will be this will be like a year and a half since she passed. So he's starting to feel a little bit better, obviously, because he's flirting with Aaron. Oh, we got Salsa radio station. Okay, we'll turn it on. Um, I can't do it right now, but we'll do that as soon as the baby ages up. And then we'll, we got to do a commercial, too. And I'll do a hydrate. Oh, you know what? We need a screenshot of this. Hold on. Oh, no. I missed him blowing out the candles. Now we're just going to get his blank face, but at least we can get a screenshot of the baby. Hold on. At least we can get a screenshot of the baby one last time. He's going to have blonde hair. He's going to have blonde hair and green eye. Oh, my God. Green eyes. Okay. Now. Let's have him age up. <laughs> yeah, she's like, Johnny looks good from behind in those tight jeans. Here we go. Well, age him up. What are you waiting for? There we go. Aww. Oh my god, what is he wearing? <laughs> is he wearing a trucker cap? <laughs> He's wearing a trucker cap, y'all. <laughs> he just grew up from a baby to a toddler. Okay, um... Let's, uh... Let's take him to the mirror. <laughs> let's change his appearance. Oh, hold on, we have to turn on, um... Salsa music as well. We have to turn on salsa music. So Johnny's going to eat his cake. We're going to turn on salsa music. We're going to change Ishmael's appearance. And then we're going to do a commercial break. That is the order of things. Okay, so he just aged up again. We need to reset his age back to the beginning. So I'm going to do that with... Uh, we need a Sim Blender here. We turned it on R&B. And we're going to have to change it to salsa. And we'll put this here. Over here by the TV, I guess. And then we will do aging. Reset to max days. Ishmael. All right. So then he didn't get an extra day. Johnny, you need to change to salsa. And then, okay, the kids played in the toilet. We need to change Ishmael's appear appearance. Yes, I know you want to flirt that salsa music just get you in the mood <laughs> oh i got jam bands okay we'll do that after we do uh, ishmael's appearance we get to listen to salsa for like one minute <laughs> why are you brushing your teeth no change ishmael's appearance don't brush your teeth is it because he's playing in the toilet get out of the toilet toilet child toilet kid Wow, look at Chloe go. <laughs> She's getting down. And I just saw Jenny and Lazlo became friends or not? Okay, come on. Can we get this baby's appearance done? Let's do this. I know those dance moves. Oh, they were arguing. Oh. Well, look at his personality. Oh, oh no. Oh my. Um. <laughs> um. Hmm. Let's let's give him some different hair. <laughs> let's give him some. 
different hair. <laughs> Tired and bored. Um, let's see. So what kind of hair does he have? He has kind of like a curly, longish hair. So let's see if we can find something similar that doesn't have a hat. Okay, that's a little bit much. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that's, that's horrid. That's horrible. That makes him look a little cute. I wanted something kind of curly-ish. Let's see. We got any kind of curly hair in here? He's got curly hair, dang it. <laughs> I hope he'll grow into his looks. It's the length between his nose and mouth is not helping him. It, there's like a huge gap. <laughs> oh, man. I love getting ugly kids, though. I do. I don't want all my sims to be beautiful, you know? I like having some ugly sims, too. Come on. <laughs> like, categorically, if you're going out in the world, how many people do you see that are beautiful? Very few. Most people are plain. <laughs> Most people are very plain looking. Okay, I think I'm going to give him this hair. I'm going to give him this hair. That looks kind of cute. It's. I don't really have any curly toddler hair. Like, that, that one doesn't work for him. Um, or this one. Oh, this one. Is that Max's texture? I don't think that one's been recolored. I think we're going to have to do... Um, we're going to have to give him this one. Thank you so much for the follow, Lucy. Okay, so there he is, y'all. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Um... He did not get any good looks from his mom, I guess. <laughs> we'll see what he looks like when he ages up. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. Let's get a screenshot of him. I mean, he looks so happy. He looks so happy. Look at that. Let's put the walls up. He looks so happy. <laughs> oh. He's a work of art. Absolute thing of beauty. <laughs> He's cute in his own way. He is. He is. We can give him that. I don't know. Tycho's the cutest, I think. <laughs> he looks empty. Okay, let's look at his personality. He is a... Wouldn't you know it? He's a Libra. He's gonna be a romance sim. <laughs> He's going to be romancing all the girls in town. <laughs> he's outgoing. Um, he's pretty nice. He's kind of middle of the road on a lot of stuff. So, yeah, that's him. That's little Ishmael, the romance sim. Oh, he needs to be potty trained, too. Let's get a potty. Let's get a potty chair. We'll put one downstairs. Why can't I put one here? I'll put it right here. And let's potty train him. And we have to get him some toys, too. Let's get him on the potty. Hopefully he's not too tired to go on the potty. He's gonna spread those green jeans! <laughs> Good, I'm glad. I want those green jeans to be spread around. I kind of was hoping that he would get Ophelia's skin because... Now that she's gone, she can't pass on her jeans anymore, you know? And Johnny could have had another kid, but... I like the randomness of it, too. Mr. Green Jeans? What is that from? I feel like that's a thing, and I don't know what it's from. Mr. Green Jeans. You're a Libra, and you're the opposite of romantic. <laughs> I know, I'm a Taurus, and I'm the opposite of romantic, too. Um, okay, so he needs to go to bed, y'all. We gotta get him up to the bed. Put him in the crib. I know skin four died out in the strange town playables, but that's okay because we'll get some uh, we'll get some townies in the mix. Thank you for the follow, Clo Winter. Oh my God, come get out of the way! I would I would be a pleasure sim though, so it's kind of close. But I don't have the right. Like I don't want to go on tons of dates. You know, I just want to play games all the time. <laughs> okay, we got to try. Oh, here he comes. He was going. He went the long way. What had Mr. Green Jeans? 
I don't know what you guys are talking about. Okay, so the baby's going to sleep. Now, Johnny, um, who's in our bath? Oh, my God, Erin. Wow, just make yourself at home, okay? So, Johnny, Johnny's going to go uh, to the bathroom, and he's going to go down and get himself some more cake. He's, like, not interacted with his guests hardly at all because he's had to take care of Ishmael. But we're going to get ourselves some cake. Captain Kangaroo? Oh, I never watched that show. I never watched Captain Kangaroo. Oh my God, Tank is here! Oh, Tank is here! Oh no! Oh no! He came over here like, what's going on here? Oh God, the party's over. The party's over, so everybody's gonna leave. Oh, he um, they almost got busted. Luckily, the party ended before that happened. Okay, we gotta do a commercial break. I didn't forget, but I wanted to wait till the party was over. And then I'm going to have Johnny uh, clean. Clean up the house. Wow. That was close. That was really close. But Johnny loves to throw parties, obviously, because he's a popularity sim. So I can totally see Tank crashing another party and catching them together. <laughs> That's true. Uh, Taurus is of the planet Venus. And I am very much a pleasure sim, a pleasure person, but just not the romance side. Like I'm, I'm romantic, but I'm only a one, one person. Like I don't want to, I'm not a serial romantic. I'm a soulmate kind of romantic. You know what I mean? I just like one, one person. I hate dating. I don't ever want to date ever, ever again. <laughs> I'm just so happy to be married. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, APCH. Okay, Johnny's cleaning the house, so this is a good time for us to save. I also have to change the station to jam bands. I didn't forget. Yes, Mr. Pleasant. I am not a Cindy Lothario. More like a Cindy goth. Like Cassandra. <laughs> but I'm not a family sim, though. I'm not a family sim at all, because I don't want kids. <laughs> Chloe was thinking of a pacifier. Bet she was. Okay, let me find a commercial here. Let me find it. Like, I'd be a family sim, everything except for all the baby ones. <laughs> you're a Virgo and you're a dumb slob? <laughs> well, at least you know your strengths. All right, let me see what kind of... What the cluck? Have we already watched this one? I don't think we've watched... I think we got a flex pace we haven't watched. Oh, man, I, I'm going to do a flex. I'm going to do a flex seal uh, soundbite, too. I promise I'm going to get to it next time I do soundbites. OK, hold on. We got another flex. Oh, this is flex paste. Have we? I don't know if we've watched this, guys. Tell me if we've watched this. If we have, we'll watch another one. I feel swift here for flex. This paste. is three minutes. The long? incredible rubberized paste right out of the tub. Flex oh, paste man, is I love super that paste. thick. Yes. It clings yes. to the surface. Phil, give it and to me. <laughs> I want that paste. It Just instantly put it fills right in there, Phil. Put holes. it in there. Yes. Flex paste <laughs> penetrates deep into hard to reach areas. I don't care if we've seen it. We're you watching can it again. It, shape it to take on just about any form. Use flex paste on wood, metal, all types oh, of surfaces. Oh, Phil, you really know how to, dries, really know how to, to spread this. that paste, A Phil. Strong, flexible rubber. It expands and contracts. Flex I want to eat it, is too. Tough stuff. Slap that paste, Daddy. <laughs> It does look like marshmallows. Oh, there we go. There, he's bringing <laughs> no, out the big guns. Damage, but with flex paste. Now put that paste on there, Phil. Yeah. You can create a watertight oh. seal. <laughs> flex paste rubberized coating is UV, chemical, and mildew resistant. In extreme heat. Oh, what are you doing now, rain, Phil? What are you doing now? Cold. Flex paste keeps it. Look at hold. that fake snow. Flex paste is perfect for That's projects, a lot of damage. crafts, and hobbies. <laughs> Shape it, mold it, or paint it any color. With flex paste, no, don't you can do create that. just Why about you anything that? you can imagine. That's not what you use flex paste And when paste insects for. or rodents are getting into your home, Look at that mouse use flex hole. paste to seal up Nobody large has a holes mouse hole like to keep that. those unwanted I thought pests it was only on cartoons. out. Flex paste advanced formula won't <laughs> know, dissolve <Max. laughs> or wash away. 
and it even works it's so underwater. satisfying so you can apply flex paste <laughs> underwater some flex appeal and it even dries <laughs> underwater <laughs> And I hope they don't dries, either. I hope they, they don't take this out of context either. Rubber. I'm feeling very, Storms very excited about flex your paste. Home, but you can push flex paste I know, don't you want some too? And hard to I mean, they've sold me on now this. It's easy to seal up I'm going to tell Mr. President I want some flex paste for Christmas. <laughs> I'm going to get some. I'm going to show it to you guys to on the stream. The We're going to see if it works for real. Oh my God, you let those chickens go. You let those chickens go. Woo! Woo! Bent, shaped, and molded it, it's then a, covered it with only flex paste. It's a flex paste boat. And created I know we've seen it before, but it cracks me up every flex time. Flex paste rubber boat. Not only does flex paste seal up <laughs> Shut up and take my money, Phil. the chicken wire, but it creates a small, no, I'm not ride in that boat, barrier though. that I'm not riding in that boat. flexible. You know what I mean? And the inside is completely dry. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just say cock a doodle do? You can get Flex Paste and the entire Flex Seal family of products at FlexSealProducts.com. Oh, oh yeah, that's that's a good one. That's a good one. Thank you for for resharing that because I can just watch that one. Where did it go? Oh my god, I lost the I lost the Oh, it's still playing there. Oh. <laughs> it's still playing in there. <laughs> Okay, all right. Thank you guys. That was a long one, so we're only gonna watch one commercial this time. But next commercial break, we'll do some more. Thank you guys, and I gotta hydrate too. I don't think so, Marta. I've never seen him on anything besides those commercials. I think he's like a Billy Mays type of character. Um. Oh, and we got we have to change this to jam bands. Get our jam on. We're gonna listen to some fish in here. <laughs> You never saw something like that in Europe. Yeah, we have really extra um, infomercials. We need flex paste in Edgewood. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Mary. He owns flex products? Oh, wow, he's selling his own products? Look at him. Look at him go. Chloe's still hanging around. I'm hanging around this town on the corner. You guys know that song? I think that's uh, Counting Crows. No, I'm not gonna play uh, Sims 3 today. I'm gonna play it next Saturday because it's gonna be, it's gonna mess up the, the uh, play the playlists. That's what I'm trying to say. It, whenever I put these back on YouTube, if I split up the game, so I think I'm just gonna alternate the game. Yeah, he wants to be best friends with Aaron. He keeps rolling that one. Um. He's gonna go do some crooning though. Minerby. Something. <laughs> I don't know the words yet. I'm gonna learn all the words to the song, I swear. Yeah, this is the last day with Johnny. Minerby Zang Zoo. Oh, I'm glad you like it, Jasmine. Thank you. Listen to those, listen to those pipes. Okay, Chloe's trying to talk to you though, Donnie. Let's see what she has to say. Crooning is a type of singing that's like um, Frank Sinatra. Well, he's the only one I can think of because I don't like that kind of music, but it's kind of like a lounge singing. It's that style that Johnny was just doing. Okay, were they just getting, were they just arguing and is the baby crying? Okay, you know what? You need you need to leave, Chloe. You need to you need to go. It's time to go. It's midnight. Minerby. Michael Bublé. Yeah, he's another one. He's a, he's like a more modern one. Okay, and what does this kid need? Um nothing really. I guess we Oh, he needs toys, y'all. He needs toys. Let's get him some toys. Um he's he's they're rich, so I'm going to get him all the toys, like all the skill toys. Aw, oh, thank you so much for the follow, India. He gets, so he can play with all of those. Your choice, kid. And let's get him a bottle before he goes to sleep. We're gonna dispose of these, dispose of that, get bottle for Ishmael, and then Johnny can finally go to bed and get some sleep. Thank you for the follow, Luna Witch. I don't know, Marta. I don't really know anything by either of them, so. <laughs> 
I just know they're both kind of in that style. I don't know. I don't think I'd... Is Tom Jones a crooner? I don't know. Um, I'm thinking about streaming Sims 4. I just don't know if I'll have the, the audience uh, for it. I do three streams a week, so I was thinking I could do a Sims 2, a Sims 3, and a Sims 4. But I also don't want to tank my stats while I'm trying to make partners. So I don't know if I'll have enough people who would watch. Maybe I should poll you guys. Let me poll you guys and ask who would watch me stream Sims 4. My Sims 4 save, not just like general Sims 4. I'm going to do a new poll. Sims 4 question marks? <laughs> yes or no? Okay, start poll. There you go. Answer me if you would watch me stream my Sims 4 save with my gameplay rules. And also I'm doing some integrated stuff in The Sims 4 too that I'm working on. I'm, I'm working that out right now. <clears throat> so I somebody... Well, never mind. I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to save it. I got to save something. I got to save it. <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. Yeah, I think we could make it entertaining for the stream. But if not, I mean, we could try it. If it doesn't end up being entertaining, then we won't do it again. But we could definitely try it out. If you guys are open to it, I have to know enough people would watch for, to make it worth it for me to do it, you know? <laughs> Yeah, if I play it, it'll be the save file that I just made on YouTube, my my 25 years later. So it'd be the continuation for my Sims 2 Pleasant View uh, Let's Play. So it'd be Eva and Fabian and Kevin and Rosa and Angela and Dustin and their kids and all of that. Helen Dreamer. Let's see, let's view results. Oh, I got a lot of yeses. Okay, I got 73% yes. 33 of you guys said hell no. <laughs> I guess you'll have to break I guess you'll have to skip that stream. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if I'm still thinking about if I want to do it or not. I'll I might try it. I might try it out and just see who, who comes. Okay, so the kid. Um the kid's doing okay. Let's one real quick, I gotta get a potty chair. And actually, be actually, I don't know. I don't know. Don't listen to me. I got to think about what I want to do. Let's go potty train Ishmael right now. And it's going to be time for us to switch houses. Johnny has been like up all night long. He's just taking care of this kid all by himself. I did, Rita. Whitney does not exist yet, but I'm going to manifest her into existence. Because in my original Pleasant View, guys, we went 35 years. Um, so this save file is only 25 years, so any of the younger kids are, are not in there. But um, I'm hoping that Angela and Dustin will have another kid. We're going to name her Whitney and make her a little bratty, little bratty brat. <laughs> okay, so once he gets the kid potty trains, then we can finally uh, get him to sleep. Jeez, he's exhausted. It's three in the morning. Okay, good for you. Good for you, child. Oh, I'm glad you guys like that. Hey, Manly Fanatic. Thank you. I'm doing great. And I'm glad that you like it. Thank you. Oh, music. Oh, yes, y'all. Ishmael follows after his father. He likes music and dance. He's going to be another musician. Or he's going to be a musician or a dancer or something. So let me write that down in the spreadsheet so we do not forget that. Um, Ishmael is music. Music and dance. And once once he gets older, we'll roll for his sub-hobby. It doesn't really matter when he's a toddler. Because he can't do anything besides play on this thing anyway. And he went right for the xylophone, too. What he was drawn to. And it's good for him because I have a feeling he's not going to be that good looking. But you don't have to be that good looking if you're a talented musician, right? <laughs> Father-son band. Yes, we're going to have a family band. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I know. If Ophelia lived, they actually would have. That's okay. They're going to do a family band in Ophelia's honor. He can be a bass player. <laughs> Throw a mustache on him. I don't know why my camera is jumping all around like that. It's just about time to switch households. 
So I'm just waiting for the season to change. We'll keep an eye on the kid. Oh, I thought it changed. Oops. <laughs> you played bass in high school. Oh, he gained a creativity skill. Look for him. Look at look at him. Oh, he also wants to get potty trained. I'm gonna lock that in. All right, come on. We should be changing any time. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So we're gonna save here. We made some good progress. Who knows what's gonna go on with Johnny and Aaron though? I don't know. The death could be named by uh, named after Ophelia. That's a good idea. Ophelia and the machine. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay, so I I saved, right? I'm saving again. I'm a I'm a serial saver. I'm a chronic saver. Saver. We're going to go back out to the neighborhood. And we'll fix the TV when we get back. Ophelia and the ghosts. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, Ophelia. Every time that song gets in my head, every time. Okay, so who's next? Who did I say is next? Oh, it's the Beakers. We're going to the bakers. And Ishmael is a child. Let me write that down. Like, I just quit. In the streams, I just quit keeping up with their age and numbers. Because it's just too much for me to keep up with while I'm streaming. But anyway. he's a, No, he's a toddler. He's not a child. Jeez, Cindy. Together. Get it together. Um, So we're going to play the bakers now, y'all. Where are you, bakers? Oh, here you are. Here you are. And then at the end of the beaker round, we're going to be moving Nervous out. We're, be, we're probably just move him, go ahead and move him in with the Curious Brothers, but we won't have them get married until next round. Or maybe we'll just wait for all of it until next round, but we've got to play through this round first. But Nervous and, um, what's his face? Pascal. Pascal are together, and Nervous does want to get married. Your beakers have three babies? Um, our beakers have one baby here. One baby that looks like looks like Daddy Beaker. <laughs> he looks like Daddy Beaker. Yes, I'm going to be putting a whole announcement out about the, the changes to schedule and, and the memberships and everything. I'll be doing that later today. I just wanted to let you guys know um, that we were having a change for my Twitch subs that are in here today. Okay, so... Let's see what's going on. It's Tuesday, 1.19 a.m. <clears throat> we have four days left in summer. Is that right? I hope that's right. Um, so they have a little Adam Beaker. Is there a little baby? And that means he's going to be aging up here any time now. Everybody's asleep right now. Oh, yeah, that's right. We did the nursery last time we were here. And where is Nervous? Nervous is sleeping down in his bunker. All right. And yeah, he wants to get married. <clears throat> or he wants to get joined. Same thing. Basically. I need the mod that makes it married instead of joined. But I always forget to download it. <laughs> I love playing Strange Town. It's really fun. It's really fun. It's my second favorite after Pleasant View. And I honestly, I've never given Veronaville much of a chance. I did like two episodes on Veronaville. <laughs> I made over all the Sims. That was pretty much as far as I got. Windows? What you talking about, Nathan? What you talking about? What windows? Oh, 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 these windows. Oh, crap. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. I was looking downstairs. I was like, what? <laughs> okay, so I think they're... What color should they be? Should they be all brown? Okay, we're just going to make them all brown. All brown all the time. Okay, these don't... This is so weird with these windows, okay? Sometimes when you try to recolor them, they only have one available channel. Like, now it went to two. Okay, you saw that, right? You saw that it only had one channel to recolor. And then I clicked it again and it had two. And this one only has one. What? What? Why? Okay, this one has two. Why is that? Spice brown windows. So I guess I'm just going to have to delete these. 
and put these here. I have no idea why that is. I noticed it when I was redoing some of somewhere, redoing them somewhere. It's a bug with the diagonals. Oh, it's a diagonal. Oh, oh, it's only on the diagonals. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I didn't even notice that. Okay. Well, we'll just have to delete the diagonals and replace them if they need to be recolored. Um, so let's see. Recolor this one. We'll delete. Yep, we'll delete these. We'll place them there. And then we'll do these as well. I completely forgot about that. About the windows here. I never, I feel like I never see these windows. <laughs> so I don't think about it. Drinks really get you going. Warmed you up when you feel you're slowing. Wendy's, we always serve it right away. Have a smile and have a nice day. Is that it? Oh, there's some on the bottom. Thank you for the hot drinks. We need those hot drinks. I hope you guys have spread hot drinks to all of your friends and family. I hope you just spread that around. <laughs> We're gonna make it a thing. Okay, I think that's every. I think that's everything. Okay, thank you, Nathan, for telling me about the windows. And let's go ahead and and speed through the nighttime till somebody wakes up in this house. You played hot drinks to your sister and she hates you now. <laughs> like, I genuinely love the song Hot Drinks now. It's not just ironic anymore. I love the song. <laughs> Cersei's losing enthusiasm about science. Well, I don't give, I don't give a crap, Cersei. All right. Okay, the baby needs us. The baby needs us. Somebody wake up and take care of the baby. Cersei, it's your turn, I think. Uh, come take care of your baby. Hold Adam. I love the 80s. I love 80s music. So most of, some of it. Okay, I don't, I don't like, um, what does she want to do? Stay home from work. Okay. I don't like, like, hair metal from the 80s. Like, those hair bands. Like, that just doesn't do it for me. But I love, so, I love some 80s music. I love, like, New Wave and stuff. Happy Saturday, Tipsy McStagger. <laughs> your voice made me giggle. Your voice? I mean your name, not your voice. I didn't hear your voice. I'm not hearing voices, I swear. <laughs> okay, let's change the baby's diaper. Let's feed a bottle to the baby, and let's cuddle the baby. <laughs> Come on. Oh, no, she's pregnant again. Oh, crap, she's pregnant again, y'all. We got baby number two coming down the pike. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it, coming down the pike. Yep, we got baby number two. We're going to have another baby. Hopefully it's a girl. We can name her Sari. Saris. I'm, I'm saying it like Saris. I don't know if that's right, but that's how I'm going to say it. All the songs from Stranger Things. I love that dark... Um, what's the word for it? Synthwave. I love dark synthwave. My favorite band is The Midnight, and they have a lot of songs like that. So freaking good. I just cannot get enough of it. Babby in the Pipes. <laughs> Okay, let's... Oh, I can't check on the baby anymore. Let's just put him in the crib. Um, Cersei wants to stay home from work today, so... Um, I guess she's going to be staying home from work today. Yeah. She's going to stay home. She wants to stay home with her kid. She, I think she has plenty of... She has four vacation days, so it'll be fine. Cersei Lannister. Not quite. Not quite that bad. Oh, there she goes. There she goes. Oh no, Nervous is not doing too good in the community. Nervous, what are you doing? Was he down? He's down here fighting with Loki. He wants to ask us him on a date and influence someone to serve a meal. He's hungry. He's hungry. Go tell Loki that you're hungry. Let's influence to uh, serve meal. Don't hold the baby. They're going to get really mad at you if you try to hold the baby. They want you to stay away from the baby. <laughs> I think she's a secondary pleasure. 
Let's see if he's, is he gonna cook a meal or not? No, did that not work? Influence to serve meal. Loki, don't be a jerk. Cook some food for your prisoner. Oh, he refused. He refused. Let's try again. Now go, go cook me some food. No, he refused. Okay, darn. Um, I guess you're gonna have to get your own food. You have to get your own food because Loki, Loki's not cooking for you. Loki, Loki's not cooking for you today. Um, get yourself some grilled cheese. Hot legs. <laughs> I don't know that one. I don't know hot legs. <laughs> that sounds like a hair metal song though. Yeah, I, we all know you hate nervous, Cersei. Okay, we all know. Um, why don't you go get some leftovers? And Loki. Oh, Loki wants to kiss Cersei. Mm, cold grilled cheese for breakfast. Yum. Yes, I know you hate nervous too. I know you guys just can't wait to get him out of your house. Why don't you go get some leftovers as well? You got 30 minutes left before work. ACR had Cersei break up with Loki and now she's engaged to Vidkin. That's interesting. That's interesting. So far, they're still together in my game. About to have their second child. I really hope it's a girl. I'm really uh, cross. If it's a girl, we're not going to do the name generator because I'm going to name her Ceres. Ceres. Okay, so they're going to work. Cersei is not going to work today. She's staying home from work because that's what she wants to do. What she wants to do with her time. She wants to go on a date. Watch TV. So we'll take care of some of those stupid needs she has. And so far we can't really do anything Nervous wants to do. I guess he could go on a date with Pascal at some point. ACR had Nervous and Cersei flirt. Oh. Yeah, he can't wait to leave. Do you think I'm sexy? Something, something, something. <laughs> That's the only, those are the only words I know of that song. The only, and the only other Rod Stewart song I know, oh, is Maggie Mae, which I really like that song. That's the only Rod Stewart song I like is Maggie Mae. And I know one more, and it's rhythm of my heart is beating like a drum. And I only know that song because I heard it in a grocery store once when I was like 12 years old and I never forgot it. I don't know why. I don't like it. I don't like it, but it never left my head. It just weaseled its way into my brain and never left. Oh, we got a meme time. All right. We got a meme time. Let's do it. Loki, you're supposed to go to work. Did he not go to work? Or was he off today? Hold on, was he off? Oh, he's off today, okay. All right, that's cool. We'll do a meme real quick. Maggie, I wish I'd never seen your face. It's a good song, it really is. I'm not, I'm not like a big Rod Stewart fan, but that's a good song. Okay, let's see, let's see. Let's see, what do I want to show? I already showed that one. Gotta keep scrolling. Gotta keep scrolling. <laughs> Here's a good one. Here's a good one from Sammy. Sims whose outfits I spent two plus hours curating? Townies. <laughs> that looks like a Sims 4 townie. Of, definitely. Definitely. <laughs> He's got like... Three pairs of stockings and gloves and 14 rings on. <laughs> okay, thank you for that, Sammy. And here's another one. We'll look at this. I finally found it after 15 years. This is EA looking in a treasure box. The Scroll of Truth. Nobody likes half-assed games that are quick cash grabs that destroy a game series reputation. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, that is EA throwing away our feedback. Here's one more. I love honey, but you know what I don't love? The welcome wagon and their gross fruitcake. <laughs> Some Sims love the gross fruitcake though. The fruitcake is nasty, y'all. It's gross. 
I know somebody in real life who likes fruitcake. You wish townies looked that stylish. <laughs> I know nothing matches. You have to constantly. I just delete them. I just delete those townies. I'm like annihilation. I, I get so, I'm like power hungry in The Sims 4. I'm like, you're you're gone and you're gone and you're deleted because you can't delete anything in The Sims 2. But in The Sims 4, you think you just delete them to your heart's content. Oh, look, the maid is here. Ayana Dallas. I forgot they even had a maid. All The Sims you've ever played hate the fruitcake. Occasionally I'll get one that likes it. I don't want to kill them. They're not worth my time. I just delete them. You have a coworker who loves fruitcake. I have a family member who loves fruitcake and thinks it's good and thinks that everybody else likes it too. But we don't. We hate it. <laughs> it's really disgusting. Now, almost nobody likes it, likes it, Hendrick. It's like a tradition that nobody likes. Oh, she's going to get sick again. I mean, obviously, a couple people, some people like it, but most people don't. Okay, Loki, uh, you need to go to the bathroom. All the toilets are going to be all disgusting because what's-her-name keeps- Cersei keeps puking in all of them. And Nervous, what can we do for you today? Nervous was such a good guy, and he made some fruit parfaits for everybody. We're going to put away these- this food. And he still wants to influence someone to serve a meal, but that's not going to work. I know it's so satisfying, isn't it, to delete those Sims? I do it in The Sims Three too, especially those stupid babysitters when they piss me off. I'm like, you are, you are dead, you are gone, total annihilation. I like how it's called t annihilation too. <laughs> Fruitcake is like a spiced cake that has dried fruits in it. But it's always, fruitcake is like always old and stale and disgusting because like it's it's the kind of cake that you mail across the country. Your grandma mails to you from across the country and it's always disgusting. <laughs> it's really bad. It's really bad. I don't like it. I've never had a good fruitcake ever. I don't know anybody. I only know one person who likes fruitcake. Everybody else thinks it's disgusting. When I was a kid, I was given a piece of fruitcake because we got a fruitcake in our family as a gift from like a relative. And so that my parents were trying to make me and my sister eat it so that it wouldn't go to waste, I guess. And I remember, vividly remember like going in the bathroom and trying to like spit it in the toilet. <laughs> like, so, so they would think I ate it, but I had to like flush it down because it was so gross. <laughs> candied fruit, that's what it is, candied fruit. It's not, it's not just dried fruit, it's candied fruit. Thank you, huge, huge lunatic. Yes. It's really gross. It's really gross. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, it's all, it's got all that syrup in it. It's just sickeningly sweet. Ugh. It keeps well, though. That's why it is remains popular, because it keeps well. And like I said, grandma can, can mail you one from across the country. <laughs> Okay, uh, thank you for the follow, Brad. Malt loaf? <laughs> that might be the same thing. It's really gross making it. I've never made one. I've never made one before. I wouldn't even try. No, a fruit, a sweet cake with fruit and whipped cream would be delicious. That is not what American fruit cake is. Thank you for the follow, Eileen. I hope I'm saying that right. Okay, I'm gonna have Nervous come and take care of the baby, I guess. Let's go cuddle him. Let's have Nervous go cuddle him. Nervous. M maybe Nervous will feel some empathy for this poor little helpless child. You make it every year for work? Do people like it? Do they eat it? And why? Why do you make it? <laughs> I need answers. <laughs> do you hate your coworkers? <laughs> that must be it. Um, okay, uh, we can't change your diaper. Let's give you a, a bottle then. Let's give you a bottle. Give you a bottle out of the bottle fridge. You make 1200 and you sell out? Oh, you make them for, oh, I thought you meant like you made them for like the work potluck or something. 
<laughs> you make them like for your actual business. I see. <laughs> and they sell out. Wow, that's crazy. Um, okay, so did you already cuddle the baby? Put him back in the crib. See, now Nervous is just free help for Cersei and Loki. He's just free child care for them. And that's why they're keeping him here. They don't really want him anymore. Like, they've done all their experiments on him and they kind of want him out of the house. But they're going to wait till the kids grow up now. <laughs> and what are these two doing? Oh, she's going to go see her baby. She's like, what have you done to my child? She simultaneously wants Nervous to care for the baby and also does, doesn't want Nervous anywhere near the baby. <laughs> yeah, the nervous would not uh the the nervous. The beakers would not harm their own children. No. I do not think they would. I think they're they're like way too narcissistic for that. Like their child is going to be the best child, you know. But they would totally treat nervous like crap for his whole life and traumatize him. Okay, nervous. Okay, Cersei. Oh my god, Cersei. I haven't been taking care of you. Go get some food. Oh god. Go get some food. Yeah, Nervous is going to sneak out in the night. He's going to have had enough. And he's going to sneak out in the night. He's going to go be with uh, Pascal. And he and Pascal are going to raise Tycho together. And hopefully Nervous can... We can work on some of Nervous's many problems that he has. And try to... Uh, maybe we can try and influence him to be a little bit, you know, nicer. Or something. I don't know. Thank you for the follow, kid in the night. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna move out in the night. He's gonna leave. He's been planning it for a long time, and with Pascal's help, he's gonna have the courage to do it. Okay, stop. Leave him alone, Loki. You jerk. Uh, Loki wants to work on his skill point, so let's have him go do that. He wants a cooking and a cleaning skill. Um, I will have him study cleaning. Is that they're just being a jerk for no reason. And then Cersei, we have to take care of her needs because we've got a babby on the way. Yeah, I think the Beakers will groom their children to take over the family business. I'm interested to see how Adam is going to turn out, if he's going to be mean like they are or not. I'm very interested to see that. Okay, you go do that, and then we need to get you some more food, Cersei. we got to keep these needs up. We gotta keep these needs up. So far, I haven't had any more miscarriages, so. And then nervous. You're good, I guess. Good. Oh, he's gonna. Oh my god, he's doing a booty call to Pascal! <laughs> he's doing a booty call to Pascal! You can't just invite Pascal over here! Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, I mean, I hope they can get away with it. Maybe nobody will. Maybe they don't care. Maybe Cersei and Loki don't care anymore. But he totally just did a booty call. <laughs> no, I'm leaving his personality how it is. But we will see if we can work on it. He is being rebellious. Yeah, he's going to go to the Beaker's bedroom. You know he is. Okay, here comes Pascal. Pascal's like, sure, I'll come over. Pascal's like, don't worry. They're not going to say anything when I'm here. They're not going to do anything when I'm here. Aww. He just ha he couldn't wait. He couldn't wait till the end of the round to see his love. He couldn't wait. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't mind too much either. Cersei's like evil. I know it's the only fun thing Nervous can do. He's constantly having to take care of the Beaker's baby and get lectured by Loki. Ooh, smart investing has increased our household funds by 59 simoleons today. Okay, hurry up and go upstairs before anybody sees you. Now, where are you going, Pascal? Oh, he's going up these stairs. Oh, that's right, because these aren't modular stairs. Okay, well, they're going... Oh, they're going to the mayor's bedroom. <laughs> of course, they have to. There's no other bedroom. Um, Yeah, so that's going down. Let's go check on Cersei. <laughs> Let's go check on Cersei. She needs to go take a bath. Um, Loki, did he get his skill point? Yes, he did. Ooh, he wants to stargaze. <laughs> yes, you do. I'm locking that in. I like that idea. No, it's not their first woohoo. I don't think it is. I don't think. 
the baby's crying too. We got to get somebody up here to take care of the baby. Um, Loki, it's your turn to take care of your child. Maybe it is their first woohoo. If it is, I guess we'll know soon enough. Let's see. Uh, change Adam's diaper. Give him a bottle. And hopefully don't go in your bedroom and see what's going down over there. <laughs> They're doing a makeout now. <laughs> Thirsty used a day of vacation pay. We need a beaker alien baby. I know we do. I know we do. They're going to need a new test subject once Nervous moves out. But I'm not sure they would do they would make their own child a test subject unless they were half alien. Maybe they would treat the half alien baby like a test subject and raise their other normal children. You know what I mean? They would raise their normal children like happy, healthy kids. They get everything they want. They get doted on. And then they have the alien baby down in the basement. I totally would see them doing that. <laughs> could be Bella too. Yeah, could be. You were putting brownies in the oven. Oh, Max, I want some brownies. <laughs> Send me some. <laughs> Nervous booty called Pascal. And now they're woohooing in the in uh, Loki and Cersei's bed and they haven't been caught yet. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. So they're doing their casual woohoo and then Loki, you're taking care of your kid. Put the kid back down. And let's send you back downstairs to get some food. Cersei's still over here. She's having a tough pregnancy. She keeps puking. Did she just puke again? I don't know. She might have been cleaning the toilet. Um, but she really needs to sleep. She wants to change into her PJs. Okay, perfect. So we got to get these guys out of the bedroom before she goes up there. So far, they don't even know that Pascal is here. Okay, we got a commercial break. We'll do that in just one second. Let's get Pascal out of here. Pascal, you got to go before you get caught. Say goodbye. No, don't worry about the kid. That's not your responsibility right now. Say goodbye to Pascal. <laughs> they had a good time together. They're going to be getting married very soon. Malinka. Malinka. Okay, now, Nervous, get out of their bedroom. Go into the kid's room or something. Say you were upstairs with the kid. Okay, let's let's check and make sure. Remember that time that uh Pascal went under the stairs to get out? <laughs> and I guess I don't know how Loki didn't just see him walk down there, but okay. We'll give him we'll we'll suspend belief a little bit. And then Loki What was I gonna have him do? <laughs> oh Cersei, Cersei, that's who I was worried that's who I was worried about. Cersei, no, you gotta get it. go upstairs. Go upstairs, change into your PJs. And then go to sleep. I don't know if she if it would count if she changed into her PJs before bed, so I'm gonna have her do it at the dresser. Their bills are due too. Loki, why don't you go pay the bills? Go down or we'll go out to the mailbox. Why not? Get some exercise. Go walk out to the mailbox. <laughs> go walk the 20 feet out to the mailbox. Yeah, they don't have a front door. It's true. He looks like the main guy from Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Does he? I don't know. I have to look at a picture. Okay, pay those bills. Pay those bills. Nope. <clears throat> we need to put a mailbox thing here. Shelf. That's what I'm trying to say. A mailbox shelf. That's what we need. There we go. But pay those bills. We got the skills to pay the bills. Now he wants, you know what? Let's have him go stargaze. Do they have a telescope up on top somewhere? Yeah. Go and stargaze. Oh my God, summon aliens. No, he doesn't want to summon aliens. He just wants to stargaze. So that's what he's going to do. If aliens come, they come. Can't, wait, remind me again. You can get abducted. You can't get abducted from this one. Hold on. You can't get abducted from this one unless you summon aliens. Is that right? Do I need to buy the expensive one? I think I need to buy the expensive one. You guys can tell me if I'm wrong, but I think I'm right. You can't? Okay, good. 
Where are you? Where are you? Telescope. So they're going to buy this one. They're going to upgrade to this one. No, object in use. No. Look through this one. Okay, now we'll sell this one. Okay. We'll turn it around later. Oh my god, what? He just grew up! What? 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 Oh my god, we missed it! <laughs> oh my god, Nervous was there to age the baby up, y'all! I didn't realize it was his birthday! Aw, oh, poor thing! Well, you know what? I can totally see his parents... His parents not being there, not remembering his birthday, just all wrapped up in their own stuff. And only Nervous was there with him. Because Nervous is like his live-in nanny at this point. So, yep, that makes sense to me. I'm okay with it. I can explain it away. Now let's see what this kid looks like. Oh god, he's gonna look like Loki, y'all. He's gonna look like you, Loki. Hold on. Oh no! Come here, turn, look, turn, turn around. Turn around! Oh, those eyes. Do you, oh, oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't get close enough to him. You see those eyes, though? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think Nervous probably is. We, we'll check their relationship. Well, there he is. The new Beaker baby. The new Beaker boy. He's cute. He is. I agree. <laughs> I agree. We'll see if that lasts. Um, but let's look at his personality because I want... Oh my gosh. I'm sorry about the camera, y'all. Um, let's see what kind of sim he's going to be. Okay. All right. He's nice. Oh my God. He's super, super nice. <gasps> He's going to be the opposite of his parents. He's not going to be evil like them. Yay. <laughs> he's super nice, super neat, outgoing and active, but he's very serious. He's very serious. He's a Virgo, which I think is that, what is that? Knowledge? Virgo is knowledge so he's gonna be knowledge sim like his parents he's very serious but he's super nice and he's not gonna he's not gonna stand for their evil ways anymore yes i love this i love this he's gonna be the exact opposite probably because of nervous caring for him when he was little you know and he's he's gonna eventually figure out what his parents did to nervous and he's not gonna stand for that i can see him getting out of there you know, being estranged from his parents, which he's not even friends with them now. They didn't even come to see him age up. Okay, let's have Nervous put him on the potty. So I'm going to have Nervous, like, take care of him as much as I possibly can so he and Nervous can get close. Yep, Adam aged up. And he's super nice and not evil like his parents. Maybe they'll have an e Maybe their next baby will be evil. And then we can have, like, a sibling rivalry and then Adam gets out and he's a nice sim gonna be a good story guys it's gonna be a good story okay but nervous really needs to, we got to take care of nervous's needs here uh nervous why don't you use the bathroom go get yourself some food and let's check on cersei okay she's in bed loki loki's still up here oh uh, loki wants to potty train adam so maybe we'll work on that as well yeah we'll have ner we'll totally have nervous work with his work with him since he wants, to, okay, he wants to be potty trained, so we're going to have Nervous and uh, Loki probably work with him on that. Loki got a logic skill point from that. I'm just going to let him stargaze as long as he wants to, since that's what he wanted to do. And what are you doing? Okay, you're going to get something to eat. And the kid, okay, the kid's going in there. We need to get the kid some other toys, too. Yeah, I have a toy box for him, but I don't think he can use it right now. So let's get him some toddler toys. I'm just so happy with how this turned out. I don't think he can use both of those right there. This one right here. All right, and I'm going to have him crawl back over here. He's going to try to wake, wake his mom up, but we're going to bring him back over here. There you go. Now you've got toys. Play with your toys, child. Play with your toys. Let's go check on Nervous. Oh, what happened? Oh, we got baby bump. We got baby bump number one. Okay, it's Tuesday at 10 p.m. 
Tuesday at 10 p.m. So Thursday at midnight, we are going to have ourselves a little baby. Okay, we can do that. We can make that by the end of the stream. We can have the baby by the end of the stream. If it's a girl, we're going to name her Ceres. If it's a boy, what letter are we on? If it's a boy, we're on the letter I. Have we done an I? What were the twins' names? Did we do I and M already? I think we did. Let me see what we are, what we're on after that. Oh, Ishmael. Oh, Ishmael. <laughs> the sim we just played. Jeez, Cindy. The sim we just played. Um, okay, so then we're on the letter M. We're on the letter M. I did not put the, the twins' names in here. M as in Melba. If it's a boy. But I kind of want, like, something that goes with the other names. We might not use the generator for this. Because I want something that kind of goes with the same theme. Okay, let's send her to the bathroom and then to go get some food and then she can go back to bed. I know we did. I know we just played him. No, not Judy, not Judy, Judy and Jade. I have those. Oh, science is his hobby too. Oh my God, I love that. Science is Adam's hobby. Thank you for the follow, Katarina. Oh, and I got a commercial break too. And we got a star. Molecule, Mercury. My favorite Strange Town pairing is Pascal and Nervous. Mercury's cute. Not Melvin. <laughs> Not Melvin. I can't do Malik because I just watched a, a, a I just watched an episode of Law and Order SVU, and a guy named Malik was like pimping out his sister or something. So now I don't want to use that name. <laughs> I gotta hydrate. Thank you for the follow, Carrie. Let me save here. Moonbeam. And let's do a commercial break real quick. Let's see, what do you guys have for me? What do you guys have for me today? Thank you for the cheers, Sammy. Mimir? I don't know, that's hard for me to say. <laughs> M is in magic mushrooms. Let's think about it. Let's think about it. Um, okay, I'm looking at the commercials. What do I wanna watch? What do we wanna watch today? Phil's back, there's so much Phil. You guys love Phil. Um, let me go back up, though, because I know I missed a bunch of them. I'm not going to watch it. I'm not going to watch that. All new Ellen Shop commercial? I don't know. That one might get me uh, copyright. Yeah, she's rubbing her baby bump. Circus Spear. Okay, here's something creepy. Here's something creepy from Pony Crown. Circus Spirit, creepy 1960s commercial. I don't think my mods have watched this, but um, I'll trust that it's okay. I'll trust that it's okay, because it's just creepy. Okay, you guys ready? You need your fill, you need your fill fix. I gave you three minutes of fill. <laughs> Breakfast. I'm hungry! Ah. Take it from Carinkles. That's me. The best breakfast under the big top is post sugar rice Carinkles. I'm terrified. So, crazy, so delicious, so different. Each grain of rice in sugar rice Carinkles is Carinkles with honey and sugar. It's so good, I Carinkle every time I eat it. I'm terrified of this clown. <laughs> yep. No matter what other rice cereal He's you've ever for tried, human souls. you love post sugar rice crinkles best of all. Honey and sugar make it different and wonderful. He looks A insane. circus is fun to eat, so you crinkle on down to the store for post sugar rice crinkles, the greatest cereal treat on earth. 
Oh my god, that's terrifying. That's terrifying. What child watched that in the 1960s and was like, yes, I must have sugar crinkles. Please buy me sugar crinkles, mother. <laughs> mother, may I have some sugar crinkles? <laughs> I know, it was so weird. Oh my god. I don't like clowns. Um, whenever I was a little kid, the first memory I have of a clown is my brother, my older brother was carrying me and we were at the zoo and they had like a clown that was doing like balloons and stuff. My brother tried to hand me to the clown and I just started screaming. <laughs> I just started screaming bloody murder. And they, there's a picture of me like screaming at the clown. I was also supposed to go on the Bozo show when I was a kid, but for some reason it got canceled. It got canceled like right before I went on it. And I don't know why my parents thought that I would want to go on the Bozo show, but she wants to stay home from work again. Well, you're going to get to do that. You're going to get to stay home for a couple of days now, Cersei. And where's the Loki? Oh, he's still up here. Okay, it's it's almost time to get him off of the, uh, get him off of there. And Nervous! Oh, Nervous, what are you doing? <laughs> Nervous, what are you doing? You don't <laughs> You don't have to take a sponge bath. <laughs> I do not like the tragic clown, no. Oh, he's gonna go try to toss the football with Cersei. <laughs> That's so funny. Cersei was just like, um, I'm getting out of here. This is weird. <laughs> oh, uh, it's too late on the screenshot, Kayla. Dang, I should have taken a screenshot. We'll take a screenshot of something else. Um, she's actually going to go toss a football with him at 1145 at night. Really, Cersei? <laughs> He's been showing out, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that clown really did, really did something to him there. What does he want to do? Play computer? Oh, he just threw it at her. That's why he wanted to toss the football. He's like, yeah, let's play ball. Take that. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, he's got to get those aggressions out. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, it was two commercial breaks. Oh, I didn't see the other one. Oh, yeah, it was. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, let me find another one. You guys can watch them play football while, while I find another commercial here. Um, black and white people furniture. Red House commercial. Okay, none of these have been viewed by my mod, so I don't want to play something I'm going to regret. So let me go back up. <laughs> let me go back up. Millennial Girls commercial. Okay, here's a toy commercial. Let's watch this one. Let's watch this one. This one's been approved. Okay, stop with your football playing, and let's watch a toy commercial. This is LOL Surprise, OMG, Outrageous Millennial Girls. <laughs> what is this? What are you showing me? All right. If your child ever <laughs> tells you they want crinkles, throw them away. Thank you for the follow, Zeth. 20 surprises and dress it's supposed to be Bratz. Oh, it's off-brand Bratz dolls. Is it, it's great value Bratz. <laughs> I would have loved it as a kid, too. I would have loved it as a kid. Thank you for sharing that with us. <laughs> I remember there used to be the... So, I like, you guys know I grew up in the South. And there used to be these cowgirl dolls. And they had names like... I remember my doll was named Tulsa. Tulsa. <laughs> and they were like that. They were like just these super over-exaggerated... Like rhinestone cowgirl dolls that were like popular for a short time when I was a kid. They were like brats, but they were like cowgirl style. And mine was named Tulsa. <laughs> Can I get an outrageous millennial? We have one at home. <laughs> I love that. Oh my god, no, Cersei. Oh no, y'all, I'm neglecting Cersei. Oh no, don't grill hot dogs. Get leftovers. I just left her outside all night. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, those are not an accurate representation of millennials. Okay, Loki, I think it's time for you to get off of the... Yeah, you gotta go. You gotta go. 
Aw, uh, thank you so much for the follow, Tally Ren, and thank you so much for the three month sub, Manly Fanatic. Okay, let's get him to the bathroom and get him to bed, and then we gotta get some food for Cersei and get her to bed as well. And let's see how nervous nervous is going to bed too. Everybody stayed up way too late in this household. You have an Audrey Hepburn doll? Wow. There's a cowgirl ver version of those dolls? Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's funny. I wish I could find my Tulsa doll. I can't remember what they were, like, what the name of the line of dolls was. I only remember, I remember getting her in the box, and the box said Tulsa on it. Okay, somebody's got to take care of this kid, though. Who's going to do it? Loki, it's going to be you. You got to put this kid to bed. I wish the kids could get in bed by themselves. I like that about The Sims 4, how they can crawl into the toddler beds. I know there's toddler beds for The Sims 2. I just don't have any, I don't think. No, 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 the kid passed out. No, wake up, child, wake up. Loki, put this kid in the crib. Every single day I get a call, a spam call at exactly the same time. Every day, at 9 a.m. on the dot, I get a call and my phone shows as potential spam every day. And so a lot of times it uses the voice, it leaves a voicemail and it's always like, we're trying to reach you about your car, uh, something, something about your car. What is it? Not license, but your, uh, I can't think of the word they use. I got to hydrate in a save game. Okay. Um, I'm going to send him back to bed, actually. Warranty! Warranty! Your car warranty! We've been trying to reach you about your car warranty! I'm like, I don't have a car warranty. Okay? <laughs> he extended warranty, yes. They're a big problem. They're a big problem. I get them every day. Both me and Mr. Pleasant. Everybody I know gets them every day. The robocalls. And the, the one I was getting before the car warranty was one telling me that I was going to jail because the IRS, I owed the IRS money. That one's a really bad one. And it's like, it's broken English and it's like a robo, robot voice. Like, no, nobody's going to fall for that. Do people fall for that? Yeah, they spoof numbers. It all looks like it comes from like my area code and everything. It would just say Africa. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they're going to arrest you if you don't pay them like $800 or something. Yeah, it's like, no, I don't owe the IRS any money. And if I did, the IRS would send you a certified letter. They do not call you. They do not ever call you. And they especially don't call you and leave you a broken English robocall. <laughs> okay, thank you, Sammy. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they do. They they're weeding out they're weeding out people, all right. Okay, kid, we gotta get you on the potty. Somebody's gotta get up here. Cersei, get up. Put your kid on the potty. Or not you. Oh, I forgot this. I have to empty this one. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this potty chair. As much as I like this potty chair, it doesn't work with the, the mod. So I have to use a game potty chair so that I don't have to keep emptying it. Um, actually, Nervous. Nervous, let's have you do it. Let's have you do it. Okay, so I got a save game. Let's do that. We'll save right now. I gotta hydrate. I'll hydrate with my cold, disgusting coffee. I got a shout out to Oana. Oana? Shout, shout out to Uana. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm sorry. I tried my best. I tried my best. I got another save game. I'm going to save again. I'll save for you, Harley, and I'll save for you, Pony Crown. <laughs> yes, Nervous is going to take care of the child now. We got to get him on the potty. Come on, Nervous. Come on, Nervous. And Cersei, we got to get you to the potty. We got to get you to the grown-up potty. <gasps> yeah, if they don't know your name... 
Uh, there's one that was going around a couple years ago where they call and say, we're calling you about your credit card. and But they wouldn't tell you which credit card it was. And they're like, oh, yeah, we can get you a, a good rate on your credit card. And they're... And, when I was at the time I was working in the office, one of my coworkers was just like okay. keeping them on the phone, like, "Well, which credit card is it?" And they're like, "You know, the credit card you have." And they're like, "No, no, if you if you're calling me about my credit card, which credit card are you calling me about?" And they couldn't tell her. They wouldn't tell her, like, just say Mastercard or something. But no, they wouldn't say. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm glad I got your name right. They're trying to get you to give them your credit card number. And I mean, I, I just, I feel really bad for people who fall for those. I really do. If you just give us your credit card number, we'll get you a great new interest rate. And it's like, no, <laughs> that's a little suspicious. <laughs> it's fun to mess with them. Yeah. It's just waste their time. Cause that's what they're, they're doing to you. I just don't answer. I block them. I don't have time for that. I don't want to talk to people I normally have to talk to. I definitely don't want to talk to people I don't have to talk to. Okay, let's check on the kid. All right, let's get him. Let's have nervous get him a bottle, and then we'll go. No, then we'll go. Uh, get him some food, and we got to keep Cersei's needs up, y'all, because we got a baby coming. Cersei's downstairs cooking. And Loki, what are you doing? I think he has to go to work today, so we better go ahead and get him up, and get him down here to eat. <laughs> yeah, they don't care, Bella. They just they they try anything they can to get people to give them their credit card numbers oh i guess you don't have to eat leftovers you can eat whatever cersei just made okay come on guys get your food get your breakfast oh loki's got to go to work hurry up and eat hurry up and eat all right you gotta go <laughs> you sound like you're nine <laughs> I know, I hate the voicemails that they leave. I have like five of them on my phone right now. And I hate going in to check my voicemail. Ugh. But I mean, you have to have it in case somebody, in case something important calls, but ugh. Okay, Cersei, um, eat this, eat this bowl too. We're gonna get nervous down here to eat. Today's girl's pony pals? <laughs> What is that? Oh, is that Tulsa? Oh my God, it's Pony Pal. Oh my God, I got it. Hold on, hold on. I gotta see if it's her. I gotta see if it's her. She had blonde hair. Okay, why am I not seeing it? There's Pony Pals. Nope, that's not it. Pony Pals. Unless I'm looking it up wrong. Those look like books. Those are books. The Pony Pals are books. Did they make dolls out of them? I don't think that's it. I'll never find that doll. I will never find that doll. As long as I live, I bet I'll never see it again. Oh, I see it. I see it. No, that's it. That's it. That's it, Sabrina. I found it. I found it. Yes, the gold outfit. That is her. That is her. I'm going to show you guys. This is totally her. Yes, I had this doll. I didn't know it was called. I didn't remember it was called Pony Pals. Hold on. I got to show you guys. This is her. Fun fashion hair you can style. I remember the gold outfit and everything. $2.97 at Walmart, apparently. T today's girls, where's her name? Oh, where's her name? This is her. I don't know where the name is. But this is her for sure. Let's see. Are there other pictures? There's a close-up. I had one and my sister had one. Rhinestone, so there was a Dixie, Rhinestone Cowgirl Dixie, Hillary was an elegant equestrian, and Tulsa was the real rodeo rider. <laughs> and Tulsa was the one I had. 
She's hot as a pistol and packs one too. She can rope and ride as well as any boy, and she got a championship rodeo. She's got a championship rodeo buckle to prove it. Although she's a bit of a tomboy, she still likes to be in style with her frontier accessories for you to cut out. Rodeo champion belt, desert cactus plant, rodeo poster, and western six shooter. <laughs> I remember the hat and everything and the gold outfit. Yes. I can't believe you found that. I want to buy that. 22 bucks. It was $2. That's a $2 doll. $22. I think not. I think not. <laughs> she had a gun. Yes, she had a gun. <laughs> You had the whole set that was like a Sims. Oh, I thought you were talking about Pony Pals. But you had another thing. <laughs> the inflation is real. Yeah. Yeah, they don't make them anymore. They surely do not make Pony Pals anymore. I got that as a gift. I don't remember if it was for birthday or Christmas. Um, from like an aunt. From like an aunt that I barely ever saw or anything. It was just like, here's a doll. And um, I love that thing. I love that thing, her little six shooter and her hat and her fashion hair that you can style. <laughs> I need, I know. God, I love old toys, guys. If I wasn't doing The Sims, I'd be doing an old toys channel. Like an 80s toys channel, I think. That was probably, that wasn't 80s though. That was early 90s when I had that doll. It was early 90s because I was probably like, I was like under 10. Okay, let's check on Cersei. She wants to jump rope and go on a date. Your wants are so dumb, Cersei. You want to go to work. She simultaneously wants to go to work and stay home for work. Well, make up your mind. She hates nervous. She's like disgusted by him. Yeah, you're disgusted by him, but he's the one raising your child, Cersei. Betty Spaghetti. Oh, yeah, I remember Betty Spaghetti. I think we watched uh, one of her commercials on one of the streams. <laughs> Betty Spaghetti. I don't know if there's a theme song, but I'm making them. I'm making one. Okay, Nervous. Um, What are you doing? Talk to Belly. Oh, my God. He's going to talk to Belly. He wants to. He already wants to take care of the new baby, too. <laughs> remember Stretch Armstrong? You guys remember those? That was like the worst toy ever. It was just a doll that stretched. That was it. That was all you could do with it is stretch it. Worst toy ever. Well, let's check on Adam. All right, Cersei, you need to go take care of your kid, all right? Nervous is busy right now, so go take care of him. Let's see, he needs uh, hunger. He needs hunger? He's hungry. He's hungry. I don't think we're gonna get to the baby today, guys. We only have 10 minutes, I'm going too slow. I'm going to, oh, we'll do it, we'll do it, I promise, okay? We'll get through it. I'll just speed through this next day. I never liked uh, Polly Pockets. I don't know why. Okay, let's have this bottle. I don't know what calico critters are. They re-released Stretch Armstrong a couple years ago. It's a terrible toy. I hated it. I hated it. He, he, she just got you a bottle, didn't she? Where'd that bottle go? Oh, that sucks. I hate it when you think of something like that, Bridgie, and you can't ever find it. Your Polly Pocket smelled good. I used to have, that reminds me of, I used to have a uh, strawberry shortcake. And the, it smelled like, stra she smelled like strawberries. And there was a blueberry one. I can't remember what blueberry's name was, but she smelled like blueberries. Do you guys remember those? That was from the 80s, though. That was from the 80s. Okay, he needs to go to the bathroom. Let's have Nervous get up here and potty train him. Cersei's needs up. 
as much as we can. After she gets done, she's going to go to the bathroom. She's going to go eat again. All they eat is fruit parfaits. Have you guys noticed that? They've made like four batches of fruit parfaits. <laughs> they love fruit parfait in this house. I mean, I do too. It's really good. You had one of those, Lily? The, the strawberry shortcakes that smelled good? And there was a peach. I think there was a peach, a strawberry, a blueberry. I had Cabbage Patch Kids, too. I had two Cabbage Patch Kids. I talked about my Cabbage Patch Kids a lot on this stream. <laughs> you had a vanilla scented Cabbage Patch doll? Ooh, I didn't know they made scented Cabbage Patch dolls. I didn't know they made those. Oh, it just went bad. It just went bad, and she's still over here eating it. Okay, you gotta go to sleep now, Cersei. You gotta go to sleep. We're gonna be having our babby. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna get to the baby. We definitely are. I think. I don't know. No, she's gonna get her second baby bump tonight. Then we gotta get through one more day. So if the stream goes over a little bit, we'll go over. We're gonna get to the baby. We're gonna get to the baby today. You have four Cabbage Patch Kids? Oh, wow. See, Hello Kitty and Pokemon and stuff was was past my time. Like, that was popular after I was no longer a child. Because <clears throat> I'm old. Okay, we gotta put this baby. We gotta put this baby in the bed. And then Nervous has gotta go get some food. Are they friends yet? Oh, he is. Like, he loves little Adam. I'm gonna be sad when he moves out because they're probably never gonna let him see Adam again. And Adam is probably, like, the only thing that's, you know, keeping him going in this house. That he has little Adam to take care of. So that's, that's kind of sad. You had a Cindy doll, like a British Barbie? I've heard of those Cindy dolls. Oh, look, he just kissed him and tucked him in. Oh, that's so sweet, Nervous. You're so sweet. Go get you some leftovers. He should take Adam with him. I don't think they would let that happen. I don't think Cersei and Loki would let that happen. It's going to be hard enough for him to get out. But, you know, it's possible. Especially with Adam being uh, nice like he is. It's possible he may move out of his parents' house before he grows up. And, like, maybe maybe uh, Nervous and Pascal can take him in. We'll see how the relationships go. I know, yeah, he might see Adam again and Adam won't remember him. I don't know. There's so many possibilities with this story. We're going to see where it takes us. Precious Places? i never heard of that before. Now i got to look it up. I know you're not asking me, but I still want to know. Rare Vintage Precious Places 1989 Village. That is cool. Those, I would have loved that. Oh my god, I would have loved that. When I was a kid. Bye, Harley! Uh. Have a good one. Yeah, I mean, he could sneak out and live with Nervous when he's a teen. Yeah, that's that's a possibility. Okay, Nervous. Um, What can we do now? The kid's sleeping, so we can't work on his skills. So we'll just keep working on needs. Getting ourselves ever closer. Maybe we can have uh, Nervous try and repair this bathtub. Like, I feel like he, they would make him do chores around here. They're going to call Crystal to take Adam away. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Mm. Oh, we got another commercial break. Okay, you guys are really wanting the commercial. We'll end with a commercial break, okay? We'll end the stream with a commercial break. So right now we can get through and get to the baby. Get to the baby. Oh, he just beat at the tub for a while with a wrench and now he's going to take a shower only two days left before adam's birthday so next round we'll get to see adam age up to a child oh no we're gonna get to see adam age up to a child this round because we still have three days left or two days it'll probably be like the last day I can't do the Pepsi Band commercial because I did my... I don't know if my mods uh, reviewed it or not. I'll have to see if they did. 
Um, okay. I guess eat some more. I feel like all I do is like eat, go to the bathroom, eat. You got nothing interesting. He wants to go on a date, but I don't want to do that right now because that's going to take a lot of time and we're trying to get to the baby before the end of the stream. He-Man turtles and transformers. I had the He-Man. I had one of the He-Man. It was like a... It was like a ca like a mountain cave kind of thing that you could play with your He-Man dolls in. I can't remember what it was called, but I had one of those. Yeah, he's aging up already. It's getting, it's getting, getting there. In two days, though. Oh, you know what? It's actually not two days. You know what? Because he aged up. No, that's right. Yeah, that's right. He didn't age up an additional day because he aged up at like 8 p.m. the day that he was supposed to age up. Thank you for the follow, Peppermint Blue. Yeah, so that's right. He's got two days until he ages up. We've been playing for two days. Good night, Ty Tybrid. <laughs> Good night. Growing up right before our eyes. The Castle of Grayskull. Yes, Castle of Grayskull. That's what I had. And I got that from like, it was like a secondhand thing that my parents like got in a box of toys or something, but I loved it. Okay, what's happening here? Be poked. No, don't be poked. Loki, what are you even doing with yourself? Um, You know what? You need to go to the bathroom and then you need to go work on potty training your son. Try to potty train now. Watch Loki get the credit for potty training him, even though Nervous has done all the work. Thank you for the follow, Kiane. Hope I'm saying that right. And let me do a save game. Okay, guys, we got three minutes left of the stream. We got one whole day to play, so we're gonna speed through this day. We're gonna speed through this day so we can get to this baby. And we're going to hope for the best. I'm going to keep my eye on Cersei. She's about to get baby bump number two. I'm pretty sure. Nope, not yet. She hasn't even got baby bump number two yet. Uh, make espresso. You can't drink espresso right now. Thank you for the follow, Milk Powder Bun. And thank you guys for helping me get to my sub goal today. In fact, I got way past it. So thank you guys, everybody who subbed and, and gave a gift sub. I really appreciate that. And don't forget, all you new subs can come to our members-only live stream tomorrow. New and old subs. Go get some leftovers. We're going to keep you full. We're going to keep you full of food. Sims 2 baby speed run. That's right. <laughs> We're in a Sims 2 baby speed run. Here we go. Okay, how's this baby doing? We just got to keep an eye on everybody's needs. And as long as we're keeping everybody's needs up okay, we're going to speed through. Um, to get to this babby. Loki, word around the streets is that you're not doing too great in the community. Okay, well, the, the parents are fine. Oh, no, they're getting in a fight. They're getting in a fight. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, we got baby bump number two. <laughs> so much is happening. We got baby bump number two, and these two just got in a fight. Okay, so let's let's get everybody to bed. That'll help pass some time. Cersei doesn't need to go to bed. How about the kid? We'll have Cersei give the kid a bath. Um, and then put him to bed. And then Loki, you can just go to bed, okay? Just go to bed. Let's speed through it. I want to get to this babby. I have no idea what we're going to name the babby. It's an M. If it's a boy, we should name him Mars. What do you think? Mars? Mars Beaker? <laughs> what if it's a girl, though? What's a, what's a, like, galaxy-themed name that starts with M? Molecule. <laughs> I don't think I want to go with Molecule. If it's a boy, I'm naming it Mars, I decided. If it's a girl, I don't know. Mercury is still on there. Oh, yeah, I forgot. If it's a girl, it's Ceres. Duh. I can't even remember my own naming schemes. Yeah, if it's a girl, it's Ceres. I forgot about Ceres. Um, but if it's a boy, we'll name him Mars. Mars or Ceres? That's what we got. That's what we got. 
Mars Beaker or Ceres Beaker? I hope it's a girl, though. I really do. Okay, let's go to the bathroom. And let's see if we can, if she can go to bed yet. Not yet. Go eat some more. Go eat some more. Gotta get through this day. Gotta speed through as much as we can. And then go to sleep. There's a lot of good M names, but yeah, we want to keep the theme on this on this family. Make make, make make. No. <laughs> okay, who's awake? And what are you doing? All right, that's fine. Um, the kid needs to be potty trained, Loki. Potty trained your child. Speeding through. We're speeding through as much as we can. As much as we can. I think you'll definitely get potty trained. All right, he's good, so just do whatever you want now. Thank you for the follow, Catapul. The beautiful name Marta. <laughs> Momentum balance. <laughs> Marta would be perfect, but yeah, not for this family. Oh crap, they're fighting again, you guys. Look, Nervous wants to go look through the telescope. Oh, but he can't because it's 6.53 a.m. Okay, you know what? Just go get some food. No, no. Go get some leftovers. Just get out of this situation. Take yourself out of this situation, Nervous. You gotta get away from Loki. And Loki, stop being such a jerk, God. They started to actually beat Nervous, you know? Once, once they've started beating him, it's time for him to go. He's definitely gonna get out of this very abusive situation very soon. The, I think the only reason he's staying now is for Adam. Um, but, and now the, the new baby's gonna be born, but it's just gonna be too much for him to handle. He's gonna have to go. He's gonna have to go. Okay, they both have the day off today. Great. I wish they would've gone to work. We're just pretty much gonna let them do what they want, except for Cersei. Oh no, Cersei, we gotta keep, we gotta get you some food. She's going to the bathroom. And we're gonna get her some food. And they're out here fighting again! Okay, fine. Whatever. I'm just keeping my eye on Cersei and the baby. If these two just want to fight all day. Whatever, I guess. Okay, come on. We can do this. We can do this. Oh, is she going to pee on herself? No, she made it to the bathroom, I think. Didn't she? Where'd she go? Why did you go all the way upstairs? There's a bathroom downstairs. And the kid, okay, the kid needs a lot of help. Nervous, you've been slacking off. You've been fighting. You need to get up here and take care of the child. So he needs hunger, bladder, and he needs sleep. Let's get him on the potty first. Hopefully we can do that and he's not too tired. Oh, they just became best friends. Get him a bottle. They just became best friends. I love it. Oh, yeah, I need to roll the pacifier. Okay, yeah, that's a good point. Let me save. I got to save game five minutes ago, so I'm doing that now. And, oh, that's that's something. Somebody make another fruit parfait. Let me get the bat box. Bat box. Oh, I already had one. Okay, we're gonna do fix re randomized sim generator. Yes. Good catch, guys. Good catch. It's gonna say it's gonna freeze for a second. It's gonna go out to the neighborhood. We're gonna go back in. Magnetar. <laughs> no, I'm not naming the baby Magnetar. We're going Mars or Ceres. God, I hope she doesn't have twins, though. I don't know what I'm going to do. Magneto. <laughs> it randomizes the sequence from 1 to 20. No, I didn't know that. I'm not even exactly sure what that means. <laughs> Mar Marius. Marius Beaker. That's, that'd be a good name. It would be. 
but not for this family. Okay, so these two are gonna keep fighting. I don't really care. They're just gonna fight and fight. Somebody needs to put the baby to bed. So you go put the baby to bed. We got 12 hours left, guys. We can do it. We got 12 hours. Oh my gosh, wake this child up. No, 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 wake up, put him in the bed. Hurry, 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 get over here and put him in the bed. Thank God, and now her hunger. Jeez, jeez, her hunger. Oh, there's no food. So bread, it's bread time. It's time for bread. <laughs> Go serve that bread. Now, why are you going outside? Oh my God, don't serve it outside. Oh. Melvin Beaker. <laughs> No way. I wouldn't let my Sims have, uh, have, what am I trying to say? Triplets. Oh, and there's food here. Okay, you can eat that too. Eat all the food. Hurry up and eat the food. Eat the food. Okay, no, no, stop it. Eat. Oh my God. Stop it. Stop it. You're, you're distracting Cersei. We're trying to get food into her. Oh my God. Okay, she's going to sleep now. She didn't get enough food, I don't think. And then we need to put this food away. So we have soup, we have vegetable soup, and we have uh, bread now. There's a bunch of bread outside, too. Oh, God, this is rough. This is really rough. Did you just eat Loki's leftover soup that he'd already been eating out of? <laughs> Okay, well, I don't know what to say. We're just trying to get through this day. We're just trying to make it through, y'all. <laughs> okay, these this fighting is getting really obnoxious. Um, what can we have you? You know what? Go watch, go watch cooking channel. You're getting on my nerves. Change to the the yummy channel, and you, I don't care. Wash dishes or what? Nope, they're gonna go fight again. Like I just can't keep them away from each other. Okay, it's 6 p.m. So we have to remember that next time we play, it's going to be Adam's birthday. So I got to write that down. Birthday. Friday. Okay, so we don't forget and, and forget his birthday. Java. Bye, Catriona. Melbourne. Not Melbourne. Okay, this is enough. This is enough fighting. Go eat. Everybody just eat. Why can't we all just eat and get along? Why can't we all just get along in this house? That tub is still broken. Eat your eat some bread. Do not attack him. Go eat. And let's check on uh, Cersei too. She needs to go to the bathroom, but she's doing all right. And the kid is still asleep, I think. Wait, where's the kid? Oh, no, the kid. Oh, no. All right, somebody come give the kid a bath. <sighs> this is rough, y'all. <laughs> there could be. There could be a chance of Cer I hope Cersei doesn't, doesn't pass on us. I hope not. I mean, I would name a child Melba, but we don't need 5,000 Melba submissions, guys. Melba is on the list. <laughs> okay, let's see. It's 8.33 p.m. We're getting close. We're getting, man, it's, time has really flown by. Uh, okay, why don't you take a bath? We're getting very close. And you just go to bed. And then we'll be good. All you can think about is Mambaloa. I don't know that one. I never played the PSP games. Oh, wow. Nervous just went and started looking through the telescope, which he wanted to do anyway. So that's cool. That'll keep him busy. Watch him get freaking abducted. Uh, oh my gosh. Alina, thank you so much for giving out those 10 gift subs. Thank you so much. Uh, for giving the gift subs to uh, Rum Jack, 
Beth Lou, Enderin, X Y Zirconium, Dragon, Mindy, Hunter, Dramatism, Punk Cake, and Fessatoli. Aw, thank you so much. I appreciate that so much, Alina. Thank you. And let's give some Laszlo's in chat. All right. Thanks, guys, and welcome to all my new subs. I hope all you guys can come to the members only stream tomorrow. <laughs> I know it's going to be a regular stream. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I appreciate all your support so very much. <laughs> I love Lazo, too. Okay, who's awake? Who's awake and what are you doing? She's going out to eat some bread outside. <laughs> okay, guys, the moment is coming. The moment is coming like any minute now. She's going to be having this baby any minute now. Oh, here she goes. Here she goes. Here it comes. Thank you for the follow, Thems Londy. Oh, here we go, guys. Perfect timing. <laughs> yes, it's perfect timing. Thank you. All right, here we go. Oh, nervous case. She's going to give birth in the rain and hail, y'all. Okay, it's only one baby. It's a girl. It's a girl. Yes. It's a girl. We got our little series. Babby in the rain. <laughs> Aww. Here we go, little blonde girl. So they've had two blonde. This one looks like she has darker skin than Adam, though. Perfect. Series it is. Sarah's series. I'm going to say series because that's just how it looks to me. And that's how I'm going to say it, even if I try not to. Okay, well, the baby is here, y'all. We made it. The baby was born in a hailstorm. I can't wait to see what this baby turns out like. I wonder if she's going to be evil. So let me put her in the uh, spreadsheet, too, so I don't forget. Series is here. Aw, oh, thank you so much for, the, for giving the gift sub to Red, Danny. Thank you so much. Oh, I think that reminds me. I think I'm going to do a new um, reward for Pleasant Points where you can add, where you can beg for a gift sub. <laughs> I saw that on another stream and I was like, that's a really good idea. Okay, well, guys, we did it. We got our babby. So this was a really fun stream. We got a lot done in Strange Town. Johnny moved into his new house, started flirting with his enemy's wife. We had a birthday party for our little uh, Ishmael, who aged up to be a very interesting looking little child, or little toddler. And then we kept, got over here, little Adam aged up to a toddler. They had another baby series. Nervous is taking care of the kids. It's going good for us so far. So in our next Strange Town stream, we're going to get to see Adam age up to a child. And uh, then we'll be moving on to the Smiths. The Smiths, and we'll get to see the little twins age up, so that'll be fun. So don't forget, guys, new things are happening in the Pleasant Sims world. If you are a Twitch subscriber at any level, you are able to come to our members-only live streams, which are now going to be weekly unless I'm on vacation or something. Um, so make sure you join the Discord, connect your Twitch and Discord so you can get the link to the members-only stream. And if you need any help with that, just let us know in the Discord. And uh, I'm gonna be now. I'm gonna be putting out a, a full announcement for that later today. And I think that's all I've got, guys. Um, I'll see you all tomorrow for Edgewood, same time, 10 a.m. But that will be on YouTube. And thank you so much for the follow, Whiskey Kitten. And also thank you guys so much. Thank you again, Alina, Danny, everybody who uh, su subscribed today and gave gift subs. Thank you guys so much for your support. And I will see you all uh, very soon. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, commercial break. Oh, commercial break. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm not leaving. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. We're doing a commercial. <laughs> Don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. We're doing a commercial. Thank you. I just barely saw that out of the corner of my eye. Um, okay, we'll do a commercial. Let me let me see. <clears throat> let me see. What did I miss? What did I miss? Okay, well, Joy of Pepsi band commercial has been uh, approved been approved by mary so it's i know she i know she does a good job <laughs> all my mods do of course all right let me see so this is joy of pepsi band commercial this is we're gonna go out on a 
we're gonna go out on a high note here on a commercial. Thank you so much for the follow, games. All right, you ready? It looks like it's gonna be pretty bad quality, so I'm sorry. It's very bad quality. You can tell what's going on, though. Remember, I, that makes me nostalgic for getting a Coke out of a Coke machine when I was a kid. standing on the coke cans to get the pepsi but you know what that's not really coke machines usually only carry either coke or pepsi so i'm not buying it i'm not buying your bs kid <laughs> i love coca-cola but i do not drink it very much because it's very very bad for you especially for me because i have insulin issues so yeah yeah i don't know why it's banned i don't know why Okay, guys, uh, that was from Marius. Thank you, Marius. All right, guys, now we're really ending this stream. So thank you so much for joining me again. I will see you guys in the Discord, and I'll see you all tomorrow at 10 a.m. if you are uh, subscribers. If you can't become a subscriber, don't worry. I'm going to put the playbacks of the, of the members-only streams on YouTube a day or two later. So you can watch those then if you can't make it. All right, guys, have a great rest of your weekend. Bye.